The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interest at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Yo, you done? I got 700 sneakers, nigga. That's bet money. Oh, How much smoke. niggas you got? What you want to bet? Money, what you want to bet? What you want to bet, nigga? You, you recycle want. sneakers. These brand new. You recycle Look sneakers, nigga. This shit is dirty, bum ass nigga. Record me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dirty. These sneakers cost more than seven of your can, outfits. Can you adjust Are you that mic? You're fucking microphone? stupid. How much it cost? Pull that mic Stop up to you. Just say how much it costs. It's all right, bro. I, I hate when you, you do that. that. <laughs> here you go. Here you go. Pull up the back down. Here he here is. Is. Here here is. Is. You see like, when you look at me. me if yo, you look closely, yo, Queens flipped on me. back down. Hey. Everywhere I go, both coast to coast. East side, west side. I hold that back down. Back down, ass nigga. I'm sorry. I should have sung along. Just tell me how much it is. You playing? What's the name of those? The Kobe what? <laughs> GG's. Alright. Yo, this is a, oh, bro- a, bro- a broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because this nigga came late. I don't want to talk about it now. We live? We live. I'm upset. We been live. I'm upset. You be upset because I came late? No, cause he upset because you came later. <laughs> I know what that means. He came late too. <laughs> hey yo, I'm happy you did that. Funny, Look, I came late. Let me get at you. Why you did I that? I came late, wasn't nobody here. You like Why that. you did that? You be I'm like, oh shit! All right, that shit. It's I'm Halloween. Just, I'm just, all right, I'm just running the. You got to, to the audience out there. It's belated Halloween. Salute, salute. You just salute. running Happy in belated. asylum, huh? You just running in asylum. I'm not running in asylum. Please don't spread that narrative on me. <laughs> Please don't spread that narrative. Oh, on me. All right, so these shits cost different prices. Flip. Why are you looking up the all price right, of on, my sneakers? On Go is five thirty one. On Stock X is what <laughs> two thousand dollars twenty three. Them shits is not more than any sneakers I got in my crib, man. They cost more than them <laughs> you got on right now. Yeah, they do. Pluck t- and, and add up 10 more yeah, pairs, nigga. Are you oh, dumb? Shit. Fuck shit. What the fuck hey, you yo talking dog, about? Stop. You an old nigga trying to be young, nigga. I'm not fuck trying you to be about, anything. Nigga. I'm trying to Did be mean. Did you pay full price for them? Show I'm me the receipt. I'm trying to be mean. You scamming ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Where you get this, yeah. where you get this sweatsuit <laughs> from? Ian, nigga. All right, so show me a receipt for that, bitch. Ian, Show me a receipt for that. Watch your fucking mouth, you boy head bastard. What fuck you talking about, nigga? Fuck you, nigga. Get some new socks and stop wearing black jeans on the couch, you it's. Inconsiderate ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, dog. What a way Stop to start. Stop showing me your stomach, you insecure what? bastard. What? What? I gotta see your Audience, fat meat I'm every time I turn to the left. Hey, 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 yo, 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 now you had to see his fat meat. Yo, yo, you gotta repeat it, dog. <laughs> it's Halloween, nigga. I'm on your ass. Oh, my oh, God. You look like a jack o' lantern. Y'all fry your ass you up? You won't, though. Stop. It's, you gotta start a show. <laughs> Yes, we have to start the show, man. I'm glad that y'all lit while I'm calm. I like that. I like that. How's everybody doing? Don't try to get too calm now. I, I calmed down. Yeah. I was hot. Yeah. I calmed down, though. Yeah, you was hot. You came in here lit. You backed down. I, I, I backed. Fuck you. You backed down. <laughs> Hell, fuck you. <laughs> you know I mean? ice, ice is a fucking... There's a word for ice. I don't know what it is, and I don't want him to snap at me. There's a word for it. I don't know what it is. I would have kept my shit. Me too. Ice came in. Now, listen, let me not put it all on ice. Thank you. I ain't going to do that. Appreciate it. The new Joe is accountable. I, I like New Joe. New, new Joe is accountable. <laughs> you talking? <laughs> they got the good laugh. Wait, you laughing? Uh oh. You laughing? Oh, oh man. Today oh, I have the pleasure of speaking with. You laughing, nigga? Yeah, that's Marty, so corny, bro. Who is better known as Ish and a co-host on the Joe Button podcast. Don't, don't play with me today. Ish is also an entrepreneur I don't and a real estate investor with over two decades of expertise. I thought you about to say doors. Real estate. <laughs> Thank you so Stop much for being here today. How are you, Selena? Let's jump into the- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't, don't drink now. <laughs> How are you, Selena? How are you, Selena? How are you, Selena? Whole voice change. Yo, what, what voice was that? It was a singing voice. You should have came in late. I'm on your ass now. That's <laughs> all right, brother. No, what, what was that? What was that voice? I don't know. I spoke to Selena. What you mean? Hello, Selena. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like you got sinuses, nigga. <laughs> that was crazy ish. I was sick. That was crazy. Uh-huh. You good now? She's nice. You straight now? What? You said you were sick. You good now? I mean, I'm getting there. All right. Um, Checking on you. I was in Atlanta for InvestFest. I was in Atlanta for InvestFest. So I, I, I think go to I may have saw you there. 
Maybe a little bit. So I, I go to breakfast. <laughs> yo, what? Yo, yo, yo you freak ass yo. nigga. Yo, are you good? <laughs> you a flirt. I don't even know what you're talking are about. Are you good? Yo, why? <laughs> she was trying to be funny, Soon saying I might have seen you there. Walking in the club, I'm a flirt. <laughs> yo, what's wrong? Soon as you see me walking to my stove, I'm a flirt. <laughs> As soon as I see when you news from the kitchen, I'm a flirt. What's wrong with hey, what you, what the dog? fuck? Ish, can you, what's going on right here? Am I tweaking? Nah, no, 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 you're not tweaking. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell you there. Maybe a little bit. Oh, oh, so I, I go to breakfast. <laughs> hey, 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 dog. Right, you got to change, man. What happened? Oh, my God. <laughs> Melissa Ford, <bro>. right? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Ford. <laughs> what are you doing, Melissa Ford? Hey! <laughs> Man. Hey, yo, you bodied that. <laughs> yo, you bodied it. Yo, you bodied it. Oh, my God. God. You bodied it. Would you go put your, yo, you killed put that, your yo. costume on? I ain't going <laughs> Yo, you bodied it. No, would no. you go put your costume on? <laughs> yo, you got the wide body. Nah. <laughs> yo, of course you're looking at that. Yo, that's <laughs> Hey, yo, you body that. Mel. I ain't going to hold you. You body that. Well, let yo. me move your walk out of the way. Make Please. some noise for, for wow. Mel wow. Wow. You and her, her Halloween four, outfit. Man. 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 You, that. you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you are in oh, yeah. character. Oh, okay. Maybe you could have been Coretta Scott. Yeah. Word. Mel, you, you look good. Look at you. Yo. Oh, my God. Look at you. Yo, you killed it. I ain't going to hold you. you <laughs> now, Mel. It. That was impressive. Mel, I'm so glad that you're here. Ice, oh my. ice, right? Mm -hmm. oh, it's a whole thing. I like this. Mm -hmm. Ice came in with his outfit. He was Super Mario. This dog abuse, but it's fine. Ice, <laughs> ice, ice was Super Mario. The Anybody whole want outfit. some candy? Yo, you, you, you get the little strawberry yeah. joint. Yeah. Wait, wait, that's yeah. the yeah. I know you got the strawberry. Pass that down. Pass, 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 pass it down. Pass it down. Pass it down. Pass it down. Okay. Ice right. was Super Mario. When he, when he came in and didn't see anybody else dressed, he took his, he took his outfit off. Damn right. Nice. Because we're supposed to be a squad. not comfortable standing alone. No, 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 no. Don't speak for Ice, first off. You hey, Joe, I'll snap. You want a mint? There you go. I'll snap. Don't speak for Ice. Ice. The rule was, boss man set a rule. Boss man set a rule. So and, I, and, 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 and where's your costume, boss man? So I walked in, and actually, even this morning, I said, you know what? I don't trust these weirdos. Mm. Let me take a change of clothes mm -hmm. just in case, because I got a feeling nobody's going to come in in a costume. You thought I wasn't going to come in a costume? Wow. Did you think I wasn't going to come in a costume? How did you think Melissa Ford wasn't coming Where? in a costume? I mean. Hey, yo, yo, you, you have to shut up. What? You don't have a costume. This is not this. You have and, to I'm, 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 and he was late. He was late. Hey, yo, what's wrong with you? You're right. Ratting ass niggas. Was yo, what's up with y'all? I'm just, hey, I'm too old to give a fuck. Oh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you just going to play the character I'm just, all, I'm all just, episode? Hey, 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 hey. They like to have fun in the motherfucking comments. She old, she old. Well, guess what? I I'm like it. I'm motherfucking, Yes. I like, I like it, it. And old it. and sexy. Okay, look at all this. I look think, at look at all this. Hey. There you go. Look at look the socks. That's a charge if we look too much. <laughs> That's a charge if we look too much. All right, so this is great. Yeah, Daisy I got like a it. costume too. All right, so That's the true. gang is all here. We don't give a fuck about Daisy. All right, the gang is the gang, <laughs> the gang is all here. Mm, mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm. All right, we can start now. I like this, man. I do. That's fine. You That's fine. This shit. That's you smoked it. You, you, you absolutely. It. And Ice you won't smoke. stand with you. Word. Like, you let a girl. Up. You let a girl. Change your clothes. Yo, yo, you let a girl. You got beat by a girl. Dog, wow. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't in competition with a girl. Go back, girl. Hey, Flip, where your costume at? Put it on. Flip, you of all uh, yeah, people. He got his costume. He don't have his costume. I'll snitch. You know me. I'm a snitch. All right, but when you change. So let's not do that. When you change, I'll put it on. I'll Just start the pot. We can start. Start the pot. It's fine. I got Thank it. Come on. I, I got it. It's, it's all right. It's all right. We can start. It's okay. fine. You want a candy? Girl. Show some food. <laughs> no, dog, Thanks. don't eat. New York City recently. While I was there, I went to the gym. When I finished at the gym, I went to the subway station, and I saw my train coming. I started running towards the train, and the doors started to close. I was like, I'm going to take my gym bag. I'm going to fling it, it's going to get stuck between the doors, the doors aren't going to close, they're going to open, and I'm going to walk on this train like a boss. That was the plan. This is what actually happened. I took my gym bag, I flung it, I kind of let go, and my bag went into the train, the doors closed, and I didn't make it onto the train. For those of you who aren't following along yet, a sweaty brown guy just ran up to a train, took a black duffel bag, threw it onto a train.
What episode is this, man? Y'all wake it the fuck up, find some energy on Halloween. 671. Welcome to episode 671 of the Joe Button Podcast. Oops. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few really amazing people. We got Aunt Your Mama. <laughs> we got Aunt Your Mama to my right, the big Melissa Ford in costume. Damn. You look great. Thank you look you. great. You did that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we got Flip in the building. Salute, salute, salute. We got big... Come on, man. Hold up, man. <laughs> yo, bro, stop Hold your up, shit, man. yo. Hold What's up, wrong man. with you? Because they don't know who we got in the building. Oh, boy. We got to let them know who's in the building, man. Come on. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Good. See, that's what you get. Bitch, I went to sleep to this interview. Oh, man. Yeah. I had to wake up to get my time stamps. <laughs> Hold up. up. Here we go. Right here, 13. Uh, 13 minutes. Listen to this bullshit. Hold up. Look at this. The, uh... I'm acclimating too easily. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's a hard thing for me. So I think I'm 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 progressing. I'm I'm coming along, but it's hard. Yeah, it's been three years. But you are coming around to it, which which we love to see because like you Thank said, you. you have so you. much knowledge and insights to share. Like you're not just coming as like, oh, a media personality. Like, no, you're a successful businessman and that's what people, you know, are, are <laughs> Don't die. What's wrong with you? Big issues in the building. Salute. 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 Big issues in the building. Entrepreneur extraordinaire. Late, but it's fine. Uh, Freeze is in the building, not mm. in costume. That's fine. Formerly in costume. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Keith is here. Pop is here. Erickson is here. Tanner is so, with us somewhere. So my Halloween. How's everybody oh, okay. doing? How's everybody feeling? What's the vibes? What we doing tonight, though? Turn it hey, up. We outside. We outside. So we outside what outside we doing tonight, tonight though? We, we outside. outside tonight. All right. That's what I want to hear from the gang. Hey, they outside, too. Yo, I'm not mad at, at, at the, what the old been doing for Halloween. Can't be. You can't, who could be mad at that? Except, I used well, to be mad at it. Why? Because I have kids. Okay. There's, and how, you have kids. There's two Halloweens. Correct. There's actually like Correct. three Halloweens. There's a couple of Halloweens. Yeah. The kids mm-hmm. get Halloween during the day at school or whatever, and, and then at, when the nighttime come, the freaks get, come out at night. They get Friday, they get Saturday. Night. The freaks been out every night for the past four days. I want to shout out to the makeup artists out there. Wow. Facts. Y'all are killing this shit. Y'all up. Those Olympic bitches went and hid. I got to look at some girls with some meat on them. <laughs> Not the girls that's putting that syringe to them. Oh, man, it's been a nice few days. Been a nice few days. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Nice weekend. I was outside. Was outside yeah, I, I was outside, outside. I'm Y'all not, saw me. Not all weekend, but I was out. I was, I've been outside. Friday and Saturday was, was, my, was my quota for the week. That was my budget. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the end Went a little crazy? Yeah. <laughs> for the same girl. <laughs> like, oh, shit. I, I saw you. She smoked them outfits. She smoked them outfits. And great customer service at the bar. They're artists. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what did you guys see a lot of? Barbies? No, I ain't going to see that many no? Barbies. A lot of ass. Yeah, I saw a lot of hoes. A lot of ass. A lot of schoolgirls. <laughs> I saw a lot of schoolgirls. Okay. They did, uh, I saw a lot of... Saw a lot of Playboy bunnies. Zombies. Nurses. Like sexy zombies. Cats. Elmira yes. is it Elmira Elvira whatever she does mm-hmm. Elmira mm-hmm. saw her mm-hmm. shut up <laughs> a lot of Adams family a lot of Adams I saw that yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday Wednesday or yeah, Morticia mm-hmm. Wednesday did a lot of that mm-hmm. saw a couple of nurses Velma's was Velma's big this I, year I, I don't the, think the, I've the seen party I, I saw Velma's. a lot of Velma's on the internet but mm. um, Halloween party I went to mm. no Velma's yeah. I was happy about that okay. got it Taylor Swift I didn't see no Taylor Swift yeah I wasn't around where they would be Word. Yeah, that's a different demo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Word. Taylor Swift walking to our Halloween party. I, I gotta go. You want to know what that is? We're in the wrong place. Like, yo, who's that? Who you? Yeah. Okay. Any Beyonce's? I mean, it was big Beyonce here. No, 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 no. 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 You don't want to. You don't really want to hoe out Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? Mm, facts. A little disrespect. And facts. I mean, they tried that when they went out to the concert looking like aluminum foil. <laughs> they, they, they noticed they all, all of them ain't look the same in, like that, in, in the silver shit. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I didn't see too many Beyonce's. Oh, okay. I didn't see too many men dressing up, but I wasn't looking at them. I wouldn't know. The spot I went to, I, I hit dude ahead of time. I'm like, yo, dogs, listen, me and my lady, we come and we in costume. Don't tell me it's a costume party and niggas ain't gonna be in costume. He sent oh, me so a, you aggressive with that? <laughs> because like I'm not going. Like, if, if if we're all taking part of something cool, like I've been to a spot where 
couple years ago, it was Halloween. You go in and ain't nobody partaking. It's like, all right, what the fuck is, I could have worn some regular shit to come in here then. Mm, okay. You That's all. Say. So it's just like, you know what I mean? You had to promote it and make sure that. Nah, I made sure. Yo, dog. we lit. Can, we, I, put, can we, I wear we, my shit? No, not could I wear my shit, but we putting some shit on and, all right, the Dude. whole club looked like that. So, Where? Yeah. The yes. dudes. Everybody in the club was in the was That in was costume. nice. That was That's nice. dope. That's lit. What'd, That's you do? Dope. What'd you do this weekend? Stay in the house. I do shit. And then um, I got a shout out, Lex and Drea. Saturday, Saturday I went down to their live show in Philly. They tore that shit up. They sold, they sold the spot out. Nice. Amazing show. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. They did their thing. They had um, Walla was a co-host. Oh, nice. And, no doubt. Yeah, it was, pretty, it was really dope. Really That's dope. Shout out to them. Shout out to Lex and Drea, friends of the show. For sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so everybody's in Halloween spirit, looking good, smelling good. Let's get to it. Yeah. Come on, let's get right to it. Ain't no need to waste time. Come on, who's ready to sound like some old men? <laughs> <laughs> who's ready to sound like some cavemen and discuss Kai Sinat? <laughs> Kai Sinat taking the world by storm. Yeah, he is. He is doing a seven-day stream from what they, what they said was jail. They have a set. And it's jail. It's not a real jail for the people out there that are confused. No. It's a set that's jail, and they're live streaming, and he's having different artists come in and act. Not, I don't even see them really being interviewed, but they're all acting. Yeah, everybody's acting in character. And this has caused major rumblings throughout the old, old head community mm-hmm. because they're saying that he is perpetuating stereotypes, his audience is large, uh, largely full of young black and brown men. And why would you want to? And why would you want to glamorize and sensationalize the prison system? I think that's what o- the old heads are saying. Do y'all have any more on that? Um, did you see it? See what? It's twenty four hours. Seven I'm saying, days a but week. did you see any parts of the streams? I saw a bunch of it. I saw a bunch of it. And, and in your opinion, did it look like he was glamorizing jail, or did it look like he was giving a true depiction of what jail be like? No, he wasn't giving no. a true depiction of what jail is like okay. at all. And all right, I watched it when this first hit, and I saw like the first piece of a stream or first clip or whatever. I was just like, yo, dude, making fun of jail. Like, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't cool. But then as I watched a little bit more, this shit kind of entertaining, bro. I'm not going to hold you. He's entertaining. And this is what he's doing. It's, it's, we, unfortunately, we live in this content world where everybody's trying to find a way to make their content entertaining. And they cutting skits in there. And the other reason why I really am not as mad at, mad at it, actual niggas in jail are putting out videos that look like they're doing the same thing. Now, I know that's not everybody's experience, but... You can literally see people li- Instagram lobbing from jail. Playing video games. Playing video yeah. games. Like they, they, I've seen tweets say, damn, they look like they're having more fun in jail than we having out here. It's a fact. So it's like. Those, I, they're I, idiots too, by the way. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing. I'm just saying why I'm not as mad at it as, hey, this dude could be out here. But why were you mad? Because I, I, I was with the old heads. Like I was sent, yo. It's enough of us already going to prison and stuff. Now you're going to make this shit look like it's fun? Mm. Like the message it sends to kids is a little off. I was with that. And then why, why are you with that, though? Why am I with the message that he's sending? Because prison ain't fun. I well, agree. I, no, like, I, never been I, I never been to prison, but my, my friends, mostly all my friends have been to prison. It ain't fun, but is there? where, where do we draw the line between him um, pushing the prison shit and you listening to trap music 24-7 or you listening to drill music 24-7? It ain't no difference. Who said I listen to that 24-7? Let's start with the narrative. I don't listen to it 24-7. Oh, That's your favorite music, Ice. Rap you guys music not, my, no, 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 no. It, trap rap music is your favorite genre of music. Ish, as we, per you. I'm not trying to argue with you. It's early in the pod. So your favorite rap, your favorite rapper ever is Jay Z, who who preaches drug dealing. We Let's not. not do that. Let's not do that. Jay Z's drug dealing and all these drug dealing niggas created these kids doing this today because their pops got locked up, their moms were strung out, and they raised themselves. I don't want to do this with you. I, I just want to chill, fam. I don't want to argue. You came right in here shooting. 
Out the gate. Bruh, if I'm giving an objective opinion, I'm asking you a question. You the only motherfucker getting snappy. I you asked got you, snappy thoughts. I said, yo, where do we draw the line between this jail yeah, shit yeah. and trap music? I didn't get snappy yeah, at all. Yeah. Every time somebody question you, you get an attitude. I'm asking you a general question. My man, you said I listen to trap 24-7. And I said, Come that's on, now we're doing this. All right, you don't listen to trap 24-7. Okay, cool. But you are I a do huge, listen to trap. You are a huge fan of trap music. Correct. So I'm asking you objectively, stop getting a, a fucking I'm, attitude. I'm, 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 I'm asking you objectively, where do we draw the line? But between what Kasanat is doing or what some of your favorite artists are doing on music. It's no difference. Didn't I just tell you that I'm not even mad at that no more? I know. I, you said you were mad at first. And, I said, first. I don't see how. and then I looked and said, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm, I'm incorrect for even getting mad at this. I watch movies based on this. I watch TV that, shows based that on was this. My point. I do all of that, yeah. so I'm not mad at it. I, I stood and said that. that. That was my question before you even got all right. Well, your, I, your I, attitude and shit. I'm saying. Don't shoot at me, though. You got a good night's sleep, mm -hmm. bro. You got a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, I, I really care. didn't. That's the bad that's part. Not. What I'm saying, like, was my question valid? I get what you're saying. I, I, I agree with you. Not about whatever he listened to in his trap shit, but for the people that are angry, then we just got to be angry at hip-hop. Yeah, not, like niggas. It's beyond hip-hop. Content in general. Fam, honestly. we yeah, watch power. Like, we glorify yes, Meech and them. Yes. We doing all of the same shit. It's no difference, my yep. nigga. Meech and these niggas is rock stars in our community. So what the fuck is the difference? You right. Uh, for me, the difference is hip hop is ours mm -hmm. versus. See, yeah, I disagree Star with that. Versus who? Okay, well, it should be then. I don't want to old us out, but I'm going to look at hip hop, hip hop like it should be ours. Same way John Gotti has cement. We should have hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> you love that doc, yo. That nigga went on That nigga was the man. But that shit was so ill. So John the niggas Gotti behind closed man. doors gotta gotta get hip hop. We selling it to them. So you can't be mad at a nigga that if they buying it, if the niggas was buying the mafia shit, they wouldn't sell it. I'm not mad at him, by the way. Let me just put I'm my shit out there. Him. Not only am I not mad at him, there's nothing that any of y'all could do out there that's going to make jail look attractive to me. Facts. <laughs> True. Facts. True. Y'all could huddle up with your bologna sandwiches, <laughs> push each other, nah, the niggas be orange the, soup. The exercise groups, them niggas mm -hmm. be doing all types of fly shit on the, the bed. They, them niggas be doing all dope I'm grilling I'm cool. shit. Yeah. No, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm no, cool. Them grilling on their bed don't look better than me grilling on the A grill. grill. <laughs> on the balcony. <laughs> on the balcony. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't it's, that's never been attractive to me. I, so, just, think, I just think he's entertaining. Um, enter, you know, he's different form of content. Yeah. We're in a space and an era where you have to keep continue to be creative. And I feel like he's being creative. Uh, the young people are not, I don't think that he's glorifying it. I just think that the young people are looking at it from a creative standpoint. Mm -hmm. It's like when Mr. Beast goes in the middle of the ocean and stays there for seven days. Mm -hmm. Now niggas ain't thinking, you know, uh, we have to speak to, do we feel that we as a people are gullible? Because when Mr. Beast go in the ocean, I'm pretty sure kids is not thinking I want to go fucking stay in the middle of an ocean on a on a raft for seven days. It's dumb. Right. I feel like Man, you, you Mr. Mr. Beast it. done cured blindness, cancer, and all types true. of other shit. True. <laughs> true. That is true. But at the same time, why, why can't we look at, you know, Kai is one of ours. He's black. And I feel like he's just entertaining me as a content creator. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at it from y'all perspective. You know what I mean? Wait. Um, he I, didn't say that. No, 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 no. I got you. No, no, no. From yeah, 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 the old yeah, head yeah, perspective. Yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah I apologize. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna hold. It. Like it was a split second, real quick when I when I looked at it that way, and I'm just like, come on, dog. And then I'm like, wait, this shit's actually dope. This shit's funny. I'm watching this shit cracking up. Like I've seen a bunch of streets, a, a bunch of clips. Since, I've seen a bunch of clips since then, and I'm like, oh, this was this was a dope idea. Take it, jail any wherever he did it. This this looked dope. They they smoke this. He's, he's pushing the streamer shit to a uh, different place. Like yeah. you got to salute that. He's not just sitting in his living room in front of a camera. He's doing some different shit with it. And I that, think that's fly. And that, like, I, I didn't. yeah. There's only but so many times, right? Like he, this guy has got artists coming to spend the night at wherever the fuck he mm -hmm. normally tapes at. Like that's so innovative. Like it's only but so many times you're gonna sit there with these artists spending the night before you say, okay, how can I take this to the next level? Right. Mm -hmm. So. If that's them establishing a set, because that is a set, so if you, the old heads, if you have a problem, I still wouldn't say have it with Casanat. I would say have it with the people behind him. This stuff costs money. Mm. These mm -hmm. are ideas that he's bringing to a squad, they putting it together, and it takes a lot of hands on deck to get this done. True. They done had uh, Drewski come there, I done seen him. I remember that Drewski did a skit in jail that I thought was hilarious. 
it wasn't a big jail like this one, but mm. I thought it was hilarious. So he came there and got into that same character. Krishan Rock, who I don't follow at all, but apparently is big in that same sort of universe. She up there crying, <laughs> crying up a storm. Offset was supposed to come and didn't come mm. because Kai Sinat gave him a bad album review. See, I'm interested to see how Kai Sinat will deal with those things. Mm -hmm. right. So I like to see that. And then, uh, and then my favorite is NLE Chopper in there, who's my man. I met him, really sweet guy. But some of that shit he was saying in there and what they were saying about what he was saying in there is funny. Like he was acting. Mm -hmm. And he was like, hey, nah, ain't nobody gonna take my booty hole. <laughs> and the comments were like, that's an odd thing to say. <laughs> like, if we if we acting, then why would you? That ain't the first line I'm going to. Nah, then he said shit. some some other shit about, oh, then he dropped the soap. Oh shit. <laughs> they acting in the fake jail and you dropped the soap. So the comments is like, hey, after you said that, <laughs> that's a little Hold on now. This is a little so what we doing? What we doing, Chopper? <laughs> So no. I do think that all this shit is entertaining. I think this is the next wave in that. Yeah. 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 This, this is the next is wave in yes. that. Yes. And you're going to start seeing bigger media companies probably start to play with some of this shit. For sure. Like, this is going to open people's eyes to the creative possibilities of some streaming shit. I mean, yeah, people are doing it. Yeah, I'm going to take my camera right to Kearney. Yeah, people are doing it, but Kaisenet, right. what well, makes a difference that they he's did streaming. They did the scare straight. Right. Like, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, they did the scare straight. They did the scare straight. straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen it? I see it. Nigga. <laughs> That's funny, though. No, now, no. where I get mad, I'll tell you where I get mad. <laughs> I get mad at Flip. Mm. Why? Because he beat you to the punch. No, he didn't. Because you should be in there. You should, you, should be, you should be charged in that jail. The same way they got all them other personality yeah, so, so, but people let, let, in let, there. let me just say this real quick. No, go to jail. No, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I, I got to say something. Cause <laughs> go get arrested. I can see Flip going crazy. Now, let me say something. <laughs> like, Him and JR are supposed to be I got to be honest. Like, you know, Kasanat, Drewski, when these people reached out to me at my height, and I didn't pay attention, or I might have missed the DM. It's kind of corny for me to go back and reach out. Nah, no, they. That's the ego no, thing. No, wait, hold up. It's kind of corny. This, this is actually a good topic. Yeah, because when I when I look at Drewski shit, Drewski reached out to me in 2018. Flip less work. So now I'm gonna wait when he's hot and reach back out to him. No. That's I have ego. to respect him. I have to salute. It, it's just because I wouldn't want nobody. Do it. A lot of people did that to me. It's, it's other things too. It is it it is ego, it's ego. but. This is a pattern. This is repetitive. This is the same thing uh, you and Lola Brooks had a conversation about. True. So this is a pattern where your follow-up game is poor, but the people that are about to blow up hit you before the blow-up happened. Yes. To, and, and for some reason you won't get with them. It's, it's, not, that, it's, it's not that I won't get. It's not that I won't get with them. It's just I was uh, yo. Flip, you got to understand that he's going to understand it's now that he's popping. It's what it was like for you yeah. then. No, like, but, I can't pay attention to every DM, bro. I'm it, sorry, it, I missed your shit. It's, it's not that, but it's just that I was... No, I these was, niggas just popping, popping. I was no, shunned. He, he gonna look doofy if you go back. Yeah, I was shunned in the beginning, and I, I got popping on myself. It depends it's on the Jada. person. I'm just saying, I was shunned in the, the beginning. Person. Some people might be like, yo, old head, I fuck with you, I look up to you, I'm happy as hell to work with you. Then some other motherfuckers might be like, nigga, kick rocks. That's where your ego come in because you don't want to kick rocks. Listen, I was, listen, mm. listen. Like I said, I and was... And then you're going to go on camera and say, suck my dick for no reason. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> I said this. I'm going to make it quick. I was shunned in the beginning, right? A guy named Call Him Rennie. I saw him, me and Young Ma. I saw him in the Bronx. I saw, when I first went viral, I said, yo, my nigga... Da, da. The nigga turned his head on me. That moment, I said, nigga... Never again. I'm not. Yo, I don't like that about hold men. Hold on. I'm never that's going amazing. up to. No, but the nigga turned his head on me and MA. Before, and that's when the shit ooh started popping was in the beginning. I remember we were standing there like, damn. And I remember going home driving like, this nigga from Queens, he did that. And I remember saying, I'm not hollering at nobody. I'm going to do it myself. And I did it myself. Yo, why is that such like a prominent line for me? Even when I was listening to this interview, mm -hmm. he said the same exact thing. Yo, I trained this person. Then I got fired, and when I got home, I remembered that feeling and said, I never want to feel like that again. Like, when men say, I'm not going to feel like that again, that shit left, like, a stain. You don't want to sure. feel like that. You it's don't want to feel like that. Exactly. Yeah. And then I got, I got lit. It just took me and my son to get lit. Look where I'm at. Now, when I look at the DM and I say, oh, shit, man, Drewski reached out to me in 2018. 
He's lit. Mm-hmm. So you I'm going to go back should, about No, I know what you should do. I'm going to go Drewski with up. No, 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 that's corny. No, I got to no, respect it. No, no, this is what that's you got to do. Now you got to preach it like, yo. That's corny, let, Box. Let, now it's you corny. Got, know what you got to say? Yo, so. yo, little bro, I see you out here doing your thing. Salute. Don't say little bro. Ish. Are you crazy? Ish. That's not bad. Ish. Just don't say little bro. Don't say little bro. That ain't little bro. Ish. You might have to call him big bro. Yeah. yeah. If you hit him with a big bro, they might fix it for you. No. You ain't calling him big bro. Don't call him big bro. You're not going to hit that nigga with the big bro, yo. Don't hit him with the big bro. Don't do that, please. No, this is what you got to do, Flip. Remember how T-Pain, he did a screen recording of all of his DMs from now to five years ago. It was like, yo, pardon me. I don't know how to work the DMs. I'm new to the technology section. Wait, and he said, I just saw all of these celebrities DM me, so if you need me, <laughs> I know how to work it now. <laughs> all you gotta do is do that. And you'll be good. I think I think I think that, you know, I guess it's ego, but it I, is. it's definitely respect though. It's like me respecting the fact that you have made a space and you created and you're doing your thing, and it's motivation. Salute, and I want you to keep working. That's I'm how I look I'm with Parks, though, because, okay. like he said, no, no, I'm just saying, because what did he, say? he was like how they might, they, now that they're at that level, they know they don't see everything, too, so it's like, you might not take it the same way because you know it's a bunch of shit you're not seeing. Word. It's not how it is in our community, and you know that. It's not like that. that. All right, well, you blew it then. Them niggas is popping. Now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay. it's, it's too late. We ain't, nigga, I'm popping too, nigga. nigga. You too, nigga I'm popping too, nigga. It. I'm popping too. Then why are you free? I'm popping too. <laughs> why you, you should be free? in jail. I don't why need, I don't why need you, to do... Why you got your freedom? I need, nigga, I don't need to do jail skits, All nigga. of them popping niggas is locked up right yeah. now. I don't need to do jail skits. Streaming in the phone. You out here with your freedom. I don't want to shit. You could have dropped the soap too, Flip. And watch me create something ill. Yo, watch your fucking mouth, nigga. I'm just saying. Watch your mouth. Pressure either... Create diamonds, diamonds or a bust. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, if you're not if you're not hungry, then fuck it, man. Forget it, man. Just chill with us. <laughs> nah, they shit dope though. And, that and shit is fire. Let them look. Let the, Shout out to them. Let I think the young niggas do they thing, man. man I, I, they ain't hurting nobody. It's no That's different all I look than at. fucking Hamilton. It's the same hey, shit. Let them yeah, niggas do they beautiful. Mean, man. That shit. Funny. It's Hamilton, and if all the rappers is letting you know that fucking music is not what's valuable, then let some of them open up some of these acting doors. Fact. Let some yeah, of them get their yeah. voiceover on. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let them try to brand themselves outside outside of just music. I'm, I'm not mad at that. That's true. I'm not. And for you niggas that's mad, I'm mad at y'all. I was way mad at this kid for that Union Square shit. Y'all mad mm-hmm. about jail, fake jail. That was real fucking life. Three o'clock on 14th Street. On a Friday. <laughs> that was a mess. I was way more upset at that than this. I remember. Damn, we don't sound like the old, the old heads finally. Well, no, because I went out last night and was with some old heads. And when I hear how old head they sound, <laughs> I get off that. Yo, I if, that. I, if I agree I, with y'all, I'm wrong. I get off that. Nah, I went to see Math. Math, want to see you too. Oh, he looking for you. Fred. Pressure. Mm-mm. I don't like when I have to answer for niggas to niggas. You got to show up. <laughs> show for what? You got to show up. Show for what? Why don't you answer? You got to see man. Man, I'm looking for you. For what about? He would not tell me. He said, I'm looking for Flip. I keep calling him. He's not answering my calls. Okay. It's my man. Why are you getting aggressive with me? Yeah, because <laughs> why, why are you delivering messages for niggas? <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, with my man, we talked about it. Then I had to leave early yesterday and I was dealing with some business. I'm going to see Mav as my man. All right. Next time, make proper arrangements, nigga, if you want me up there with you. Anyway, oh, please, nigga. To protect you, nigga. Oh, shit. shit. (laughs) Now fix it. (laughs) (laughs) Now now fix it. Now make it right. I made it right. You my man. You're not making it right? Say less. All right, we're moving right along. Um, And Mav was with a nigga who, uh, oh, Sham. Sham was up there. And Sham comes from penitentiary. So his view on it was just like, Oh man, they're making a mockery of us. Blah, 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 blah. I ain't never been to penitentiary. So when they get on that shit, it'd be like, <laughs> yeah, you just gotta let it go. All right, big dog. I mean, is it possible that they got a good point of view? I mean, yeah. The thing about point of views is everybody got a point of view. No, true. I'm saying, but theirs might have some validity. I can't really speak to it from their point of view. Maybe if I was locked up for some years, I might be looking at that shit like a mockery too. I don't know. Hey man, it's, it's, it's gang niggas that look at some of these rap niggas. True. The same exact same That's way. True. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Whoever you cosplaying as, the person has a right to have a problem That's true. with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, my thing was just right in hip hop, and we don't have to stay on this, but in hip hop, street credibility has always been valued. It's always been valued, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there's not too many ways to get it outside of crime. 
So you either going to commit the crime or you're going to stand next to somebody who's known for Doing the crime. the crime. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if, if, if dating all the way back to whenever hip hop is valued at, then why would we be surprised in 2024 that there's some remnants of that with kids wanting to be seen in jail in orange jumpsuits and pretend? They don't want to be outside like we was. They just want the experience or the look or the, the profit or to monetize. Like whatever they want, let them have fucking have it. Let the kids have it. That's how I Let the kids, let the and kids it's Halloween. Cook, man. Let the kids cook. And it's Halloween. What you want the kid to do? That's they haunted house. Shit, if he don't make a little fake jail, he might fight. He might go up to 42nd Street on a Friday and just stand, oh, and, stand in the middle of the street and do cartwheels. Talking about a PS5 is under a car somewhere. Come find it. <laughs> and stupid ass fans out there that listen to the last part talking about some Joe, you crazy if you think Mr. Beast can't walk down the, uh, New York Street without being recognized. If you saw the, the damage that Kai Sinat did up there, why would you think that Mr. Beast can't do that? Uh, fan. Kai Sinat had his fans and audience meet him somewhere. I'm talking about walking down a street. Right. He actually announced, hey, I'm going to be at this location at yeah. this time. If, come, Mr. Come, Beast, if Mr. Beast that's announced, totally free shit. if he announced that, it would be at a zoo. It would. But if yeah. he just walked down the street, I don't think it would be that way. Yeah, that's totally different. I don't think it would be that way. I agree with that. That like, nigga, he got the most Milton bradley of faces. <laughs> that nigga face is mad <laughs> something. Milton Bradley? Yeah, they look like fucking Harley. I don't know who Mr. Beast is. I don't know who that is. All right. So that, no, I'm just saying that speaks to what you're saying. Yeah. Like, I don't know who that is. So I'm sure a lot of other people, his demo would know who he is. You know who Miss Rachel is. I do. (laughs) She can't walk down the street. Do you think she could walk down New York Street? (laughs) Fuck no. He's much bigger than (laughs) She absolutely could. Much bigger than her. He's much bigger than Miss Rachel. Not even the same size. Yeah, he's different. You got your fucking mind. Wait, what? I love that Ish dies on that hill. Hey, audience, Ish dies on the hill of Miss Rachel can't walk down a New York street without I think Miss Rachel 100% could. That, I know who she is. No, it depends on it depends on the demo. That, that That's the same thing. It depends on the demo. I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that Mr. Beast ain't him. I'm just saying he a 24 year, a 25, pardon me, year old white guy. I, that's not my demo. You get what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Where somebody that may not know Miss Rachel mm. is somebody that don't have children or small kids. Mm. Most of the parents that have small kids, she's a fucking icon out here. Like, she be in the mall, kids be running up to her in the mall the I, same way I'm sure somebody would run up to... I have a small kid. I didn't know who she was. I, me neither. Until hearing you, you say it was you my first time Yeah, that was my first time ever hearing... Right. He's five. That's a small kid, though. No, I'm just saying. Like, I think she's kind of new in the last three years. She started after COVID. She started oh, okay. during COVID. Like oh, she that blew up like that after COVID? After God, COVID. Damn. She was stuck in the house of COVID, and I think she has an autistic child, and so she had to find ways in which to entertain him. And so she started doing it in her house, my mm-hmm. nigga. And that shit took off. Fire. Man, let me go to Toys R Us. They still got Toys R Us? <laughs> <laughs> what they got out? Yo, so again, Walmart. Let's so we sitting here toys. talking about this lady. Fuck this podcast. In three years. <laughs> nigga, COVID was 2020. Right? This we is Play Doh. <laughs> no, that's what they do now. Literally. Yeah, they do that. On, on, on my, all my daughter watch is videos of people making shit and cutting it up with Play Doh and slime. Play Doh is lit though. Three years, bro. Play Doh is that shit. I watch them do that shit to cows. <sighs> Yo. All right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. That big ass machine lift the cow up in the air. It's about to go down. <laughs> <laughs> and you be sitting there like, what's It's wrong? fucked up. I don't like that shit, oh, but I do boy, eat but steak. But I watch so it. I eat steak. And I watch it. Yeah, I watch it. <laughs> Feeling <laughs> compassion for them, but then I do eat steak. So I know like, what, do, what do you want me to do? You got Man, it, fuck you, Miss Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? How about that? Since you want to talk Stupid about some ass shit. Come on, let's stay on all, all oh, old man, man shit. You want to get the uh, Kodak Black's appearance on Drink Champs? That seems to be stirring up quite the commotion out there. Yes, it is. Uh, Kodak Black looked like shit on Drink Champs. Mm. I don't know what the I don't know what the fuss is. I don't I don't. The internet try to overcomplicate shit sometimes. Kodak Black looked like pure shit on Drink Champs. And he looked like shit when he was wiggling around on the floor talking to himself in the dark when his man was taping him. Mm. Didn't look the greatest when he dodged that bullet from two feet away that we all watch. The internet pick, pick funny times to be concerned about people. Mm. I've been concerned about him for the last year. Shit, a couple years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to be nice because the nigga's fire. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I think that's where the pushback comes from. 
Again, even with him, he's not necessarily my demo, but what I'm hearing from the people is that the kid is a genius. They say he's just a different level of thinker in that, and I think that um, people get mad when you put somebody like that on your show or on your platform and you showing them at their worst. People feel offended by that, especially if we the hip-hop community and we're supposed to be looking out for each other and we're supposed to be doing all of that shit. Mm. Then when you put this kid up there that's evidently going through some mental shit and he drunk, Mm. And you monetizing that, then somebody gonna get some pushback. I know that he was drunk. We don't know what he was. Yeah. So you feel like they should have never put the video out? That's what I'm gonna ask you. Um, I want to ask that to the panel. No, I see it Not both ways. Him. I see it both ways. I see. I see that we got a job to do, and we pushing product. But again, where is your real loyalty to hip hop if that's what you monetizing? Because because yeah, let me tell you something. If it was a white person doing that and monetizing it, we would all come up here and demonize that person. Mm. Okay. Yeah. You mean putting yeah. somebody at their worst? Yeah. Am I am I wrong here? Well, I mean, let's make a fair parallel. What if it was uh, a white rock musician on a white platform? I'm talking about hip hop. Okay. I'm talking about our loyalty or quote so unquote the, so our said loyalty to hip hop and to our culture. I don't, you know, a, I don't know if we look at it like that. If Zane Lowe does that interview, but I also don't know if Zane Lowe does that interview. Is you an older nigga? Um, when James Brown was on the news doing that, acting crazy, they should have never put it out. I mean, it was loud. You know what I'm talking uh, about. How old do you I, think he is? I have no idea what James <laughs> Brown did on TV, but... You remember the interview? Oh, no, 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 uh, CNN, maybe he like was CNN ain't shit. a black medium. So you're just saying that if you're CNN a black... CNN is not I'm a black I'm just medium. asking. You're saying that if you're a black medium, you shouldn't put out a fellow black artist from hip-hop looking I, like that. I'm saying that's some of the pushback that I read. Is and that, and uh, uh, Barbara Walters didn't get no slack when uh, that Bobby and Whitney interview dropped. I know. Mm -hmm. Barbara Walters don't owe no loyalty to no fucking Bobby and Whitney. Oh, Do you think that uh, Noriega owes some loyalty to Kodak Black? Kodak Black? Mm. Yes. Based off of what? Why? Based off of Nori being an older gentleman in hip-hop. Mm -hmm. He's a pioneer. Well, he ain't a pioneer, but he in the second wave of pioneers of hip-hop. And if you see this person and, and, and you putting an uh, interview out that you know gonna look that, that is going to get looked at and put this person in a negative light, I definitely believe that it's you a, have it. That shit did a million uh, in a day. I know. It's a show called Drink Champs. The whole goal of the guests or like the hosts is to get the guests fucked up. That, that, that really to, is it. it. I know. So No, that's not the only goal. I, okay, okay, it's not, oh, no, obviously, obviously they want to get, they want to get people uh, their they flowers. Want, they want to get, yeah, they want to get people their, their flowers. They want to have somewhat of a compelling interview, et cetera, et cetera, so et cetera. If I get you drunk, then but be more But they also do inhibited. feel like that alcohol loosens yes. people up. Mm -hmm. I've been on the show, then I got drunk and they were happy Started about talking. that. Right. So, yeah, you was lit. I was fucking like, lit. Big <laughs> like, so, hi, all the things. So who's responsible? <laughs> All the, things. <laughs> All the which, things. Which is going to make you now be less um, guarded to give a better interview. A thousand percent. Exactly. Apparently I, I said it. a whole bunch of shit I never would have said. But I digress. That's not even it. Whose responsibility is it when somebody might have a past history of substance abuse, abuse mm. to go on a platform like that. There should be you other checks saying? and balances that's outside, what, that's of, what I mean. outside of Noriega. Yeah, that's I what I mean. I'm his not, label need to sit again, him the fuck I, down somewhere. His manager, I like Nori. Right, his day-to-day -day mm -hmm. team should be responsible with not letting their artists be seen looking like a fucking doof. And, then, and no matter what him and WAC 100 said, WAC, you my man, I know that you clearly got something invested in Kodak Black. The nigga look bad, yo. Well, we I'm not, and I'm not he, he mad at Ray J for saying that. I see people in the comments talking about, well, he that might have been a bad day, and he talks with that drawl. He and does. man, That's I true. don't want to hear. I don't. Could be true. What's also true is he looked like shit and sounded like shit. That's true. Incoherent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Couldn't complete a sentence. I had to put mm -hmm. my brand new iPhone to my ear like mm -hmm. this to understand what the fuck he was saying. That ain't how I want to hear Kodak Black. Yeah. But now, while people were shitting on Nori, I was kind of commending him. I ain't diss him. I'm no, people were. I'm just saying, and I and I read, I read that. But he, I commend him because he didn't seem like he was trying to like take advantage. Or of course anything. not. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Of like, course not. Nah. He he actually conducted himself very professionally. I, I I I would not have been able to sit through that. True. Mm. As an interviewer with questions on my pad, if you sitting in front of me sounding like that, 
Nigga, get the fuck up, yo. Let, let me ask y'all another. Let me ask y'all. Well, I'm getting up. Somebody's let getting up. Let, let me ask y'all a question. Somebody's before. getting up. Or, or we've had an This is the perfect interview for a dramatic exit. Look, hey. But, we, but uh -oh. we've had, we've had uh -oh. an interview. Uh -oh. We've seen this uh -oh. one. I'm, I'm joking about dramatic exits. I don't, don't be serious. Nah, I'm saying. Hey. I wouldn't put it out. But they also both live in Florida, you, so you could get that interview again on a better day, too. But look. Theoretically. You also know people have a problem when I come to your platform and you don't put it out. So now. I, I, I've shown up. I'm doing. I'm doing you. I'm giving you grace, my nigga. And Nori couldn't have known he was going to show up looking like that. I know. He couldn't mm -hmm. have known that. He might not have even spoke to him to organize this interview. So now, mm -hmm. what do you do when you got the artist in front of you looking like this, and you you done paid your staff, mm -hmm. your cameras, mm -hmm. your lights is up? What do you do? Yeah. And you know it's going to be a hit no matter what. See, True. that's that intersection where you got a, a decision to make now. Yep. Yeah. I'm not making that decision, but I'm I'm the exception. I was just about to say. I'm the exception. Yeah. We've had interviews that didn't come off well, and they never saw the light of day. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas came up here and sounded like shit. They might have been under the influence. They didn't open their mouths for minutes and minutes and minutes. We asking them questions, and they mumbling, and we didn't put the interview Same thing with the key. But we've had something that we did. Same, but same thing with the Keith Murray joint. Like Keith Murray started rolling on the floor, got went crazy at my studio. I didn't put it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't feel like hearing the shit. Not that I cared, because I put out shit before when somebody looked crazy. It was just, I don't, I don't feel like hearing it. And he, I didn't really care, but I understood people's emotions towards him looking like that. But let me just say something to you. This is where I miss the old head, the old G's back in Pac era, like Stretch and all them niggas. Like niggas where they mans really cared about them. When niggas where they mans will, no matter how much money you make, I'm going to hold you down, I'm going to beat the shit out of you or do something to help you get help. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas just be around for the ride until the nigga loses his footing and then now you mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. looking mm -hmm. crazy or on to the next mm -hmm. come up. Mm -hmm. You niggas is sick. You know what I mean? Kodak look crazy, shout out to him and fellow Zoe, but I think the niggas around him need to help him. You, I'm listening to niggas around him like, oh, you smoke or you want to drink? Like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Where y'all niggas at? When a nigga up, y'all niggas, oh, yes men type shit. And I'm not, mm -hmm. you know, no disrespect, but with all disrespect. The nigga need help, nigga. Period. Yeah, and then when something happened to these niggas, everybody want to be sad. And yeah. About, oh, something, what, we could, what we could have done. Oh, or, man, I just was with him. Damn, that's such and such is my favorite song. Man, shut it takes up. a village. It takes a village. Word. I seen the shit, man. I, I seen the shit. Yeah. So, and then Kodak tries to get on uh, Insta Live the next day with like Tiffany Haddish yeah, and, and better spirits and sounding a little better, but still sounding bad. He didn't look like he was all fucked up off something, Gosh. but it didn't sound, it sound like it was just yesterday that he was. <laughs> Man, I'm not here to judge nobody, but I, I don't think it took a, uh, Albert Einstein to see that. Yeah. He was, he was, Everything was he, he looked, he looked he nuts. He, he, he looked nuts. Enjoyed. I don't want to see none of us like that. No. No. And I know, I know niggas get like that. I know niggas self medicate. I know, I know niggas get like that. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be seen, seen doing mm -hmm. it that way. Uh, rest in peace, my man G Dub. Salute to him. Thoughts, prayers, love to his family, friends, loved ones, their loved ones. G Dub is somebody I used to get high with. I used to do my lean and my whatever we could find. Mm -hmm. We used to do it in L.A. Yo, where it's at? You pull up to some nigga house up, up the hill. You go in a creaky steps. <laughs> nigga got a whole room. There's plenty of, ha of drug houses to be found <laughs> in L.A. And you just getting putting all types of shit in your body. And then you go to the Mondrian and sit there and on the balcony and just look at shit. <laughs> and and G-Dub, I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. had an overdose last week. And mm -hmm. I love you, and I miss you. G-Dub held me down when I was broke in music. I was ghostwriting, doing all types of shit over there while we was getting hot. Mm. But the point is, these are the real-life ramifications of these things. True. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, True. they're showing you every dope sick, every painkiller, mm -hmm. every... They, they, they showing you these things. Mm -hmm. Be careful of what you consume. Yeah. I don't know if this is, I mean, you know... Um, R.A.P. to Matthew Perry. I mean, did we rest in peace, Matthew peace. Perry? Yeah. Rest in peace, that rest in legend. peace. Major. Come on, man, Chandler. Yeah. Word, legend. Yeah, absolute legend. Yeah, that news came across. Fuck me up when it came. Across. I, was I was out having shocked. a good time, dressed up, acting like a thotty. Saw that, I was like, goddamn. Yeah, 
Yeah. Rest in peace, man. It and really it was spooky. Sad. The last picture he's yeah. in was the hot tub. Like, they say he drowned. Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. They had a heart attack and drowned in the tub. How'd they know? Uh, I think their coroner's that report. That came back fast. Yeah. Because, they, uh, you know, he, he had been very vocal about his uh, uh, struggle with substance abuse, et cetera, and addiction and, and that sort of thing. Um, but they said that he had nothing in his system. He had no drugs in his system. So when so a lot of people assumed that he might have been. And, and, and you have a history of that. They might have rushed to do the toxicology report to mm -hmm. see if he found out. No. So. Well, rest, rest in peace, peace man. Yeah. When yeah. stars yeah. be that big, I don't necessarily roll with whatever they report on it. I feel like they want to get that but information they be, out yeah, there. They be like, if, that shit like to be if, salacious it, if it's negative, sometimes. if he they was find under anything, they find something in the house. They can't wait to say, "Yeah, we found paraphernalia. We found anything." If, if it mm -hmm. happens that way, then in my opinion, it has to happen the opposite way too. That's true. Mm -hmm. yeah, depends. Yeah. Well, who know who? That just it sounded like a funny. A, it sounded like a fishy story when it first came across. Found in his home in his pool alone. In the tub. It was, I thought it was, it was a tub. Jacuzzi. 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 Mm -hmm. Gotcha. It's a big ass jacuzzi. Though. Well, hopefully we get do get more information. Uh, again, thoughts and prayers to his family, friends, mm -hmm. fans, loved ones, friends, cast. I mean, sad. Yeah, it's very sad. Ho hopefully we can come in here next pod and not have to say rest in peace to anyone. To no Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. True. So I was in Atlanta this weekend. Oh, quick oh, so, oh, so Okay. It hey. was <laughs> Super popping. My God, it seemed like everybody was there. But uh, Keith Lee was in Atlanta, and we find this out because he's doing all these restaurant reviews. And what's interesting is that a lot of people in the comments are like, thank God somebody is saying it you know, about the customer service at restaurants and how some restaurants you go in, no, we don't do takeout. No, we can't do this. No, we don't have reservations. We'll take your name. It's an hour and a half wait, but they don't take your number in order to call you. Like, And he apparently has highlighted a couple of really popular restaurants. Before we highlight him, can we continue to highlight your Atlanta trip that you just... Yeah, you trying to, hey, I'm really trying to sneak right past right. that. <laughs> I know you're a little old today. <laughs> <laughs> but how was your Atlanta trip that you left on a work day? My Atlanta trip was lit. It was lit. <laughs> I don't even... What did you do? I had a good time. Uh, I... Saw a lot of friends. Yeah. One music festival was happening out there. I also saw you. Are oh, you going to tell us about it? Oh, it was great. I mean, you said you went for work, right? I I I did go for work. Uh -huh. I'm still kind of. About what, I'm still what was keeping the work? that. I'm still keeping that under wraps. Oh, nice. I'm still keeping that uh, nice, under wraps. Nice. So I'm just talking about like the socializing and stuff that I did. So, yeah, yeah, we saw you. They had you on uh, Reddit licking a glass bottle. Oh, licking geez, the bottom Louise, of they a, saw that of a glass. You Cup. Reddit fuckers don't miss anything. God damn. You, you were licking you were, a bottle? <laughs> wait, wait, no, no it was just the bottom of a martini glass. She licked oh. it. No, well, the bottom of it. Well, yeah, I mean, like some of the, you know. You didn't want to miss out on it. Uh, yeah, it was a really good espresso martini. <laughs> And it just it dribbles. This, it's called M4 Outside Part 2. <laughs> <laughs> Freak, freaky 4. <laughs> she did some, because she licked that shit on camera. Um, the bottom of the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Salute. I did. I did. Thank you very much. Okay. No, Shut nigga, no. Oh, what the fuck sorry. you doing? I mean, I was having a good time. No, you don't do that on camera, Mel. Come it on, you're my sister. It was 80 degrees. Get, you're licking a glass? Let me tell you, Parks admitted he was thoughting and bopping this I was. weekend. I so, wasn't I licking mean, any glasses. Yeah. Exactly. No, salute, I mean, but salute. Yeah. You know how much germs... <laughs> <laughs> well, your body must be immune to it because look, mm -hmm. you're not sick. I'm not sick. I yeah. am not sick, no. But yeah, I had a good time. I had <laughs> a good time. Did you go to the festival too or no? Just, yeah. Uh, Saturday night after I'd finished all my work Did stuff. you see anybody exciting so or can noteworthy? Can you tell us anything about Janet the... Jackson. Oh, shit. Jan oh. oh. Janet Jackson, the legend. Yeah. And how, it was packed. How was, how, how was the performance? Like it was it was dope. I mean, I will admit, I was a little distracted because there was a lot of people there. It was Piedmont Park. There was a lot of people there. So, you know, I'm watching, and then I'm talking, and I'm spinning around, and I'm talking, I'm watching, people and I'm spinning around. People you haven't seen in a long time? Yeah. Right. Okay, thank you. No, you will make some lit shit sound like some Man, Shut fuck, up. fuck that. Yo, did you bag something? Were <laughs> you what, wearing yo? this all weekend? <laughs> yeah. right, no, let's let's I, get to the shit. Did you bag something? No, I no, I didn't uh, bag anything. No, look, something bagged you. Look, now you got us on Pussy Patrol. <laughs> just, just that fast. Mel, what the fuck are you doing? What do you mean? It's Halla fucking Ween. 
I oh. wish someone wanted to set the memo out. You got the. There was actually <laughs> there was a fucking memo <laughs> sent out, and oh, none of them. Oh, I'd have came dressed up. <laughs> Well, you know I like to dress up. You, 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 you didn't hear, but I did tell everybody to dress up for our Halloween. Then no, no, I popped no. my little party city mask. No. Ice came in as Super Mario, but he took it off because he's not a real nigga. The nigga came in and said, "If y'all not gonna be, if y'all ain't in costume, don't even come in." That's what he said. Mm-hmm. That is what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, nobody cares about what I'm I said. Go find me a costume real no, quick. No, that's fine. Well, I said, <laughs> There's still a spirit somewhere. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's Naughty America's right at the moment. Yeah. Crockett. <laughs> You could be Avion Crockett. <laughs> what? what? You got the air uh, ghost face killers on? Uh, these are actually called uh, off white Clarks. She stunned on you. <laughs> oh, shit. These, these are expensive. Those are wallabies. No, we had a conversation where I said, Mel, I said, you got your wallabies on. She said, oh, excuse me, these aren't wallabies. These are called off white Clarks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I said, uh, right. that's the same thing you did to flip at the start with your GGs. <laughs> no, it's not. She did not even close. Yeah, Fancy she feet. The same shit, yeah. Fancy on the feet. And I googled it. Cost. The yeah. GGs. Google it. It's cost some money. Mel, did you dress up in um fuck out in, in Atlanta? When you no, went I didn't see a lot of um. Uh, so she was trying to be herself out there. Man, let's get let's get down she to it, man. Like, I didn't see there. a lot of costumes. Like, what I, 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 storm. Yep, time happened. to dog pal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, time to dog pal. <laughs> but wait, here's For the dogs. But wait, here's the kicker: is I did buy the storm contacts. I was going to do it. I was going to do What'd it. You end as far as you got as the contacts? No, and, she, a, and, and, and she stormed her contacts. And you got the gray, mm. and you you got use the gray that wig. wig. And you got the gray wig. That's the yeah. storm shit. No, this was not the one I was going to use for storm. The one with storm was going to be like silver and long and blowing and oh, shit. Oh, you got wig options now. Yeah, you like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like you was falling. You had to press life alert. You just like the life alert commercial. <laughs> 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 hey, yo. That's funny. So. Life alert. Yeah. No, you Body that you'll want to contact. I yeah. promise you, I wanted to find yeah. a life alert bracelet, but just to complete the outfit. Mel, right. did you I think like? I'm all right. Did did it get? Could, <laughs> were you, you going to Halloween party tonight? Yeah. No. All right. You were doing sure. things. You were licking things. Did you like? Wow. Was, mm. not, you were. We have the evidence. Can we specify that it was a glass? It was a glass. Yes. I wouldn't see anything salacious. But mm -hmm. did you end up having fun? I had a great How did time. you end your night? Um, How did you end up licking the bottom of a glass? Yeah, I want, yeah. And was bottoms up on? Because that's going to make it weird. <laughs> bottoms up, bottoms up. Some no. lady held it. Yeah. Tell them, tell them. My, my girlfriend was, we were cheersing, and it was martini glasses. Yeah, fine of it. And um, some of the espresso martini had, like, dribbled down her glass. So I don't know. I just. I, you lick, wait, that's that's the her glass. Somebody else's glass? Oh, glass? judgy. The you dirty look, little her glass? I was glass? having a good. Yeah, the dirty glass. It, it was a you clean was glass. You in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> you don't give a fuck about COVID, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know COVID either. back. You got the booster? Uh, listen, anyways, that HIPAA violation, fuck you. Um, no, I did. I, it was fine. It was fine. Oh, Everything was fine. You got her. Okay. Oh, God. All right. You got her, Joe. Oh, wow. It really is on Reddit. You Reddit fuckers don't miss anything. That's craziness. <laughs> Maybe you are a fun girl. And you on your like, knees. That looks like fun. Yep. Why do girls, yep. but you Yo. know what's funny about that? Why do girls, why do girls do that when they out with the girls? Yeah, man. Cause maybe you we, would never lick the bottom of a glass like if you if there was a man around, right? Facts. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Well, Look, maybe if you liked him. Maybe. She would not. Maybe, possibly. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I you think, have I fun, though. Like, Mel, Mel yeah. has fun. I do. I have a lot of fun. I got a feeling Mel is completely One of those apple different. Compared to when she's around us. She like get a, a total different girl. I'm kind of Oh, I've seen her in action, so. Oh, she okay. get an apple cider in her system and <laughs> <laughs> she starts going crazy. Couple hot toddies. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, apple cider. Uh, yeah, but no. Atlanta was lit, uh, but I didn't see any um, costumes yet. I think it was too early. I don't know. Nah, and everybody, we, and, but everybody, right 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 right. But also, yeah, also everything, everybody was really focused on one music fest. That's really it. Like everybody, there was so many people there. Like Janet brought out J. J. Cole, Cole and yeah, Jermaine Dupri. It was, it was wow. Halloween's not even for the kids no more. It's really for us. Oh, I had such a blast watching uh, Jermaine Dupri and Janet Jackson be in the same room with Nelly and Ashanti. Mm -hmm. It's been the block season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It has been the block season. Christmas coming up. I didn't think about that. Because November fucking got here fast. It sure did. Mm -hmm. It's November. There it is, bro. Uh -huh. That is spin the block, spin the block season, season, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, cuffing season. Mm-hmm. Okay, what? What the fuck? What, ish, what's with the face? 
I what's with, what's, what what's about, with the man? face? Because you, were, I'm listening to JD and Ashanti and them. I don't, I don't got no. So isn't it cuffing season? Is that what it's not? Is that what the the youngins call it? <laughs> yeah. The youth. It's not cuffing season when niggas is already cuffed up. We, you know, you cuffed, oh, you cuffed up all time. Like, that's whole not year, right? Cuffing season shit. lasts all year. That cuffing season shit is dead. Niggas is old. Niggas is yeah. old, washed, and whack. Facts. It is what it is. Old, washed, and whack. Well, we not me. Have to, we don't have Y'all to niggas. Put, no, you too, yo. You down. <laughs> nah, I'm Enough not. of that cosplaying as a young nigga. It's <laughs> over. <bro. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm washed. Old, washed, and whack. Accept it, yo. I can't. Why? Why are you holding on? Why I'm, about to, I'm about to dye my beard this weekend, nigga. I'm oh, about to make a whole new oh, nigga. Why? Don't do that. Man, fuck, not, fuck that gray shit. Yo, my nigga. barber asked me this morning, yo, you growing it out for the winter vibe? I said, no, nigga, I'm old. <laughs> Cut this shit down. <laughs> Flip, you've been married too, uh, too long to, to try to not It is too many grays on my business. I'm just grays. saying. It's too true. many grays on the set. Somebody yeah, gotta somebody. die. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die my shit. <laughs> Yo, somebody gotta die. That, okay, I know it's Halloween, nigga, but easy. I'm gonna die my shit for y'all, and then, you know. Somebody for us, gotta die. Bring Hold the on. youth back. We gray as a fucker. All right, there's four of us. Two of y'all metal. gotta do it. <laughs> two of y'all gotta die the beers. Me and Ish. There you go. You already mm. die your shit. So I don't yeah, die that's my shit. You just stopped dying. Yeah, I don't never die my just beard in my life. You didn't age that fast in two years. I've never died my beard in my life. Did, have you seen any old clips of you on the pod? Like yeah. when you first got in? Yeah. That shit was black black. We stressed you that out. That shit was what? jet black. Nigga. That shit was black. Like black. Oh, yeah. That's like the Barack Obama effect. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he was just... Oh, she fried. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fry ass up. <laughs> Yeah. How much more can you fry me today? Look at me. Look at me. I got I got fucking wrinkles drawn on my face. I went to bed to that issue of you. I know that. <laughs> I want to watch that shit. Oh, black and oh, you had a good interview this week too, man. Yeah, yeah. Joe. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you had a great yeah, interview. You, you had a you had a, a bombshell. A bombshell. A bombshell. Nigga said they gonna Shout fuck to your ass. Wins, wins, wins sat with the guys. That shit was dope. Zayvon and Alex and Reggie. They had the old team over there. They had charcuterie. They had Bev's. Ooh, sure, cool. They had a little studio production room back there. Well, it's cool. We had a good time. You. you know what I mean? And I went to Brooklyn. Y'all know I don't be going to Brooklyn. <laughs> so I really got to love niggas. I really got to love those guys if I went to Brooklyn. Just because it's stupid. Went, went to Brooklyn. Sat in there three hours. Good time. Nighttime, too. We had a good time. Nighttime. You ain't, you ain't oh, you went, you yo, shout out. I want to shout out to the nighttime potters, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I got salute. I got to tip my hat to the nighttime potters. I've been doing this shit so long in the daytime. And when I was a rapper, too, I like to go to the studio in the daytime. Facts. Yeah, you did. Y'all that that got nine to five or just go in the studio at 8 p.m. to record and come out of there at midnight and after midnight, the dedication to y'all's mm-hmm. craft. Oh, my God. I remember being that hungry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, energy, I remember the days. The energy's I'm, different. Creating I'm, that night. I'm yeah. spoiled to that shit because I've had people ask me to come up there, and I'm like, not 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 there, but uh, yo, come in nine o'clock. No, never that. <laughs> never that. No, bro. Can we do eleven? What the fuck yeah. are you talking about? Like I'm not. They always want to ask you to do a pod when some popping shit happened, like Thursday night football. <laughs> some <laughs> ill shit going on. No, mm-hmm. nigga, fuck your pod. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to Savon and them. Yeah, it was, it was a, we had a good time. And it was well received. Interview looked like it did well. Shout out to them guys. Yeah, you gave him some shit over there. It's a little clip floating around. You getting that math online. You went and seen math or something? Oh, yeah, I pulled up on math last night, too. I ain't playing. Oh, with shit, you pod. I, I ain't playing. You pod. I ain't playing. And we did a pod yesterday. I'm still outside. What's up, nigga? What you said? I heard what you said on YouTube <laughs> on Chig shit. What's up? <laughs> I heard what you said on Chig. Say here, yeah, nigga. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't want to hear none of that slick shit on YouTube if I sold more records than you, nigga. Don't let Drake get it fucked up with where the failures are in hip hop. Drake might have some of y'all vision a little cloudy. If I sold more records than you, put your name there instead of mine. <laughs> don't say my name. <laughs> Doc, it's back. Drake, Drake can say it. Everybody can't play like him. Mm-hmm. Be I'll, careful out I'll there. I understand what was that? Two years ago, promises is all I heard. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 hey, but how do you feel? I mean, you went to the studio yesterday real quick. And we had a good time. We had a real good time in there. Not that studio. You went to, how do you feel that, you know, like people that start with you, you know, they, you're the father of a lot of things. I just leave it at that. Studio was nice. 
Over there? Yeah. Oh, it was cool. Walked in there, shit like that. Oh, look, my creation. Walked in there. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he went to that, oh, he went to that studio. That's like a kid you oh, didn't know about yeah. and shit. You sick. Yeah, that's what well, I'm saying. I didn't know that that's where it was shot at. <laughs> this nigga's there. Huh? Yeah, it was shot at they shit over there. So. <laughs> oh, they shit. Shot at they shit. Oh, I want to get messy. Did I you sign get messy your name? So get messy. Nah, nah. Get messy. Get messy. Come on. Did you sign your name, <laughs> you stupid me. nigga? Let's get messy. <laughs> What's up? It's nice. And, and, I like and, it. And, and salute to, to the owner of the spot. Yeah. But could this owner of the spot walk in here and do a, um do an interview with like let's say like Ish or Ice wanted to do like a little side interview? Could Nobody they... could just walk in and do that. Okay. Oh, so it's different <clears throat> with you. No. No. I'm not running this ain't a studio. Yeah. This True. our shit. True. Okay. This ain't, ain't another pod. Did you sign it? Re- re- recording here. If you see some recording going on here, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> did you leave a note? Joe was here. Like, did you leave some tag the wall? Did you, <laughs> yeah, because did you do something? I can see you leaving like a cigarette butt. <laughs> did you do something, my nigga? <laughs> Take someone's leftovers out the fridge. Something, something disrespectful. <laughs> that's why the bad bitches don't talk to me no more. She like that cigarette butt. See? <laughs> oh, the cigarette butt. Look what they look how they muddy your name. And the bad bitches start aching you. I hate that. Uh, nah, I ain't, I ain't leave nothing in my presence. My presence was there. It was a nice spot, though. My presence was there. My, the, 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 my faint cologne in the, in the background <laughs> when, I, when I left. A little Joe Malone. walked in, but... Yeah, come on. <laughs> Joe's here. Yo, I, why people don't... But I don't have beef with nobody. It's not beef, but... You know, I don't have beef. I don't... I'm telling you. It's I know that though. the fans think that I be lying when I say I don't have beef with nobody, yo. Not a soul. I'm shit, ready. shit. I was in the fucking strip club exchanging numbers with niggas. Some niggas. Mm-hmm. Like making friends at 43. <laughs> yeah, man, niggas with money got to stick together in a strip club. <laughs> and they, they can set us up outside. Come on, let me walk you to your car, man. I just seen you throw 10. I still got four on me. Come on, man, what's your number? What's your number? Let's get out of here, let's, let's get out of here together. Yeah, and meet back up here, too, now. <laughs> meet back up here on a Tuesday. So you gave your number out and got to walk to the car? Wow. Was he cute? Did you meet him in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah, did you play with his hair? Hey, Joe hey, didn't have a run. <laughs> Why you playing my man like that? Yeah, don't run. We meet too many niggas at the strip club. my nigga. I'm having fun in the strip club. I'm sure he's a gentleman. Did you tell him he's hey, pretty? He got some money. <laughs> hey, he got some money. Oh, man. Oh, he's got money. He's got money. <laughs> God, so, so Red Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't want to hear y'all laughing. What? What happened? Red Lobster got $10 Casamigo flights, man. What does that what? mean? What's a flight? Oh, I'm still scarred from my luggage. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I was like, what's a flight? Wait, what, yeah, what is that? Uh, it's a bunch of shots. Yeah. It's like, a, you test the whole line of whole, Casamigos. Oh, not a flight. <laughs> At Red Lobster. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas still go to Red Lobster? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody goes to Red Lobster. Nobody you lying. Red Red Lobster. Lobster. You're lying. You're lying. I'm trying to lying. Lying. Yeah. Nigga, I don't, I, never, I don't eat seafood. Red Lobster but can't I, all get I heard about Red Lobster. to Mykonos. They got the Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody <laughs> eats Cheddar Biscuits no more. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Yes, they do. Yo, y'all niggas make money yes, and forget I, I, about... Thank you. I'm no. so Not glad somebody about to Top go ramen there. and all that. Mm-hmm. I don't, nigga, mm-hmm. watch your mouth, nigga. I'm just saying. Well, I don't eat cheese and I don't eat seafood, but I hear about the Cheddar Biscuits, but crazy. it's not lit like that no more like it was. Nah, the Biscuits is crazy. I go to Olive Garden and they get the bread over there, nigga. That's it. You go to Olive Garden, but you don't go to Red Lobster? I haven't in years, but I would. Over the cheddar bay, <laughs> I would. Olive Garden, nigga. Mmm, giant. Yum, 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 yum. Whatever that shit That's is. That's not even. I don't want one. Let's combine like three jingles. Nigga, <laughs> like green giant. What the fuck are you talking about, yo? Oh man, yeah. I'm, 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 hey, yo, dog. If I gotta go to, I don't even drink. Mm-hmm. But if I had to go to Red Lobster to get the flight. I'm going to spend, spend a couple of dollars at somewhere else. That's cool. I'm, I'm going to be at Red Lobster. How, but how many, how many shots is it? Is depends. It, shots? it depends. But usually more than three, less than ten. 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 Do, yo, do you know how like many people yeah, five, play six, like seven. after work going to like Applebee's and all them spots to get like the happy hour going? Like that's normal. That, that, is, still, that is still normal. a thing. That's that a thing. Normal. That's still a thing. Fridays, Applebee's. I would never do that. That sounds like all the people in Red Lobster is going to be drunk. And I already walk in there feeling like they drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look at all these See? drunk ass. <laughs> See? That's what a nigga gave a bad review, yo. Because <laughs> the nigga's nah, like, I go, Nah, I go to Red Lobster to bump into the Dusty Whites. <laughs> what? You know, the, you know Easy the dusty, on my people, man. You know the dusty white people are with, like to stay the, around with, the entrance and the, shit? With the brown flip flops? I walk right in and move. Come <laughs> 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 on, get the fuck out the Change way. Change your flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> your whole footprint in there. 
Oh, that's Ice's bag, though. My bag. What? Ice was drunk at the Halloween party looking crazy. Yep. I'm not going to lie. What was the you point? Were, you look like you had a real good time. And I did. That was the point. Had it a looked, cool like, too? It looked like your girl, your girl carried you to the car. For sure. Nah. It did look like <laughs> She didn't carry me to the car. She was worse than I was. So who drove? The Uber driver drove. Mm. Good. Mm. Who okay. picked out oh, your thank outfits? God. Safety first. Thank God. Safety. Yeah, safety first. Safety. Wait, who made your outfit decision? Just That was me. I was like, yo, this is what we're going to do this year. All right, cool. Like, she's like, she just he had runs to find, his long, long, long as she could find something where she could be as close to naked as possible, she was good. Do you guys rotate? Like one year you choose being naked. N- well, no. <laughs> <laughs> one year you choose. Next year yeah, she I mean, chooses. It wasn't a ma- like, hey, this is what we doing. It was just, yo, I got an idea for Halloween. Let's do this. Okay. All right, back. What did she make decisions on? Ice? I was supposed Whatever to fuck she wanted on to make Halloween. Oh, okay. Man. That long distance shit sometimes. I was supposed to tear something down for Halloween. Mm-hmm. Don't get tempted. I ain't gonna lie. This was, one of the, this was a horny weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It was a few <laughs> times having to... <laughs> forget it. <laughs> <laughs> never mind yourself, Mike. Yo, yeah, never mind. That's another 550 coming your way? <laughs> New gallon? <laughs> uh, that's, when, good. that's when you gotta turn around the corner and fix your shit up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> The, the, the wind blowing. That old boxer brief waistband. Yeah, nah, put that motherfucker. Strap, they they strap was out. up. They was out your there. stomach. They mm-hmm. was out there looking good. Tighten your belt. I got a nice little set of DMs of, of the new Velmas mm. this year. So I appreciate y'all. They did for, it just for you? I, 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 they I don't know. know that's your thing. So they, they sent it right on. I appreciate every single person that sent me a DM. You DM them back? Nah, I just... You, know, you don't do that. Yeah, he's no, a, he's, party, a, party. he's yeah, a faithful don't do man. That. Yeah, I'm part of He'll play the DMs. Mm-hmm. Never wrong with looking. All right, so speaking of faithful men, mm-hmm. Saucy Santana told academics that he would fuck the shit out of him in the ass or some shit, right? <laughs> so you said he would I beat him the, up, then and, fuck him in the yeah. ass. Yeah, he told Ack he would beat him up and then fuck him in his ass. Yeah. Nigga, why is that okay? That's the R word. Yeah, yeah why is that 100% you can't, the R word. Yeah, you can't say that. And we can't say, yo, that shit got me tight. I'm a, get y'all shit off. I'm, I'm, what's the all? <laughs> fry his ass up. Don't. It rhymes with wait, grape. grape. <laughs> That's grape. Oh, wait, you can't grape. You can't threaten a grape oh, somebody. Wait a second. <laughs> this is how I know we old whack and wash. <laughs> is, did they change? I missed that rule. Wait, you can't say that word no more? No. No. But, <clears throat> well, I mean, like, not on YouTube. No, they're going to flag you. You definitely cannot you say, that, say word. that word. You told you me could, I couldn't say that word. You can say it, but you can't say it frequently. You got to tell a you story. Leave that word alone. Yeah, you have to tell a story of what's going on. If you, you can't leave the word it. alone, then how do you explain it? <laughs> you can explain assault. it. Don't, don't try to make money assault. off of it. Yeah, you cannot sexually assault someone. Right. <laughs> Even if you won the fight. I just like great. Just great. <laughs> All right, great. Yeah. Let's the same great. pulp yeah. fiction, nigga. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you gotta be tight. You can't just tell me you're gonna fuck him. You can't just tell me you're gonna fuck him. That's just crazy. That's disrespectful, bro. I'm no, 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 man no. for act. I'm gonna beat you up and then I'm gonna grape you. Okay, wait. You can't take a nigga butt, butt cheeks. That's crazy. <laughs> so, this is. Some days it just don't pay the pod. <laughs> like, this is craziness. Ack had a back and forth with, I guess, Carisha. Mm-hmm. Yo, don't ask me to be accurate in the reporting of this stuff. This is out of my demo. This is, for me, this is Bush League. This is Bush League now. Ack had a back and forth with Carisha. Saucy Santana is friends with Carisha. Mm-hmm. So, Saucy Santana said something, and then Ack said something, and he used his Jamaican accent. I, I worked with Ack for a lot of years. <laughs> I've worked with Ack for a long time in pressurized and intense situations, and I'll be the first to tell you, I had two things I've never heard or seen. Ask Jamaican accent and act DJ. <laughs> that was our first little hiccup we had to get over. Hey, man, <laughs> have you ever dj <laughs> Well, Rutgers win. I got cousins that was at Rutgers. <laughs> Let's find out. Right? And they both are saying shit that's crazy, crazy to each they other. They both, it's so foul I can't report on it. I can't tell you what they are both saying to each other. But I never looked at the great part of this like y'all are looking at it. I never looked at it like that. I'm going to knock you out and I'm going to fuck you in your ass? At no point did I believe him to be going about trying to do that to act. No, I believe it. No, I don't believe he's going to do even it. If you, even oh, if you don't believe yeah. it, you we can't, can't say, say it. it. Double standards when it comes to the community. A thousand percent. 
<laughs> Wait, why you can't say that if you don't mean it? What can a man say that to a woman? Like a not man will it? say to a man, "Suck my dick." You don't mean suck my dick. You saying it to get foul. Hey, yo. Erica <laughs> says she wasn't trying to use a racial slur. It was a racial slur, but her story is. I was trying to get foul. We it, are in an era where people try to get foul. So I'm asking, when they start getting foul with each other, why is that off the table? I feel like that's a, that's a, a really good equivalent. That's what I'm asking. That's an, uh, that, I, think good, that, I think that's, 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 that's a really good no, equivalent. How? Suck my dick can be you just... I'm, Offering here, here. You're not hey, offering. That's not it. meant to be not offering. I'm just That's saying. That's not an offering. You're not saying suck my dick like really actually come There's suck no my dick. There's no question mark. You're saying suck my dick, suck my dick is like fuck you. Yeah. yeah. And you know that. But you but tell even, somebody I'm going to knock you out and take your asshole, that's not fuck you. That's fuck you. That's literally fuck you. Yeah, two different no. things. Yeah, Maybe. Force <laughs> Maybe. That's literally fuck you. I know. He's literally. a gay man, bro. Like, we know what we say. He's gay yeah. and he fuck niggas in the ass, allegedly. And no, not I allegedly. I don't want no nigga <laughs> who's gay that. telling me he's gonna fuck me in my ass. Nigga, I, don't talk shit to him. I don't even have to monetize off this episode. <laughs> 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 you just turn, turn it off. <laughs> I'm hurt. I don't like that shit. Everybody down when for I, when a free I, No, no, because you checked me on improper improv when I told the nigga I was going to fuck his wife in her ass raw. You said, yo, you can't say that. And you would. I don't like when Flip disrespect I don't the fans. Think, I don't think that you should say that. I don't think that he, he should say that. And I don't think that actually, I think it's all Bush League. And because I know it's Bush League and I'm not that, I don't really have commentary on their style of fighting. Got it. Okay. I'm just saying, you I, should, you check I me would that. not do it. <laughs> but they clearly are doing it. So when it's wartime, I just want to know There's why no is that off the of table? Engagement. Then, sure, then that's the, off, sure. yeah. Here's the. I'm, I'm asking. I'm there, there, there's one factor here. I'm gonna give you an equivalent. There's one factor here that if makes me and that Melissa sitting up, up here and start arguing, and I tell Mel, I'm gonna smack the shit out of you and then take your asshole. You are sitting up. You're gonna Yo, say something. Just give the bread away. <laughs> no, I'm saying you're gonna say something. <laughs> wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, what? It's just out. He right. I'm right. He's not right. He is 100 percent right. Actually, no. He's not. <clears throat> and no, I think I have the translation. I think I have the translation. Hold on, right. okay. Oh shit! It's not I right. Right. I, 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 explain to me. I want to hear what she has to say. Here's the translation. In the midst of everything that Saucy Santana was saying to Ak is he was just like, you routinely come after women. You never go after guys. You're always going after women, after women, and after women. So he's basically so he's this is what this is what he said. He mm -hmm. actually said this. And so he's basically calling him he called him the F word, not fuck, but the other one. He did. And then he's basically insinuating that he's a bitch. So if you're a bitch, come here, let me you know, <laughs> you. Great yeah. you. All right, bro. Right. I feel like. Quick question: If you if you get demonetized, that means no one gets paid. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, my bad. I'm I'm new. I'm new to this. He wanted to ask you. Oh, oh yeah, my bad. Right. Um, Answer him, nigga. If, no, if if we get demonetized for the episode based on all of our behavior oh, so watch. and all of our vocabulary and verbiage, then. Maybe everybody's down for a free episode today. No? I put my free Don't go like already. that? Nah. I didn't curse. Yo, you know, yo, yo real quick, curse. this don't have nothing to do with nothing. I bet. You know what used to crack? You know what used to crack these niggas in Monopoly? If me and it should be down with some shit together and then the little house car come up and I say we gotta split that <laughs> like, we gotta split that buddy I don't give a fuck send it over oh, that's that it, the, the big one the good Pause. old days yeah I thought it would be like that but forget it um, <laughs> I thought it would be like um, that <laughs> yeah I just uh, uh, ish I want you to explain to me where I'm bugging what I'm saying is this no I'm, I'm just agreeing with them they're saying that you basically are uh, what did y'all say what was your words that you on flip just used I forgot the term that they use. Grape? No. Oh. They were saying... Um, so Assault. No, something with the community or something you all said. Double standards? Double standards. Okay. So they are saying that if a man said that to a woman, mm -hmm. then people would be outraged. Super outraged. You get what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like people would be outraged. But the fact that a homosexual man said that to a heterosexual man, nobody is finding any... Negativity in that. Yo, can we be honest? Yeah. Homo homosexual men can say a lot of things and, that's and get what away they with saying. it and have no backlash. That's what they say. And if you have 
Masculine, or well, I don't want to say masculine. If you have heterosexual men say the same thing, it's a... That's what they say. You damn near canceled at this point. He can't say that, and we can't just allow him to say that because under the guise that he's gay. No, that's not cool. For real? Yes. Yeah, it's a thousand percent. No, it's cool in today's society. Yeah, you can I, say whatever you want. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just talking about the, I'm talking about the backlash, the like backlash and outrage I mean, behind it. You're looking at it from, a, from not COE. Not, of course. No, I look at it like, no, he not. damn, y'all making me... The fuck. You're going to make me say something I don't... Kind of, let me see if there's another way to say it. Oh. Like, look, if a lady dog, play, I'm, I'm looking at it like Ack is straight and Saucy Santana is whatever he is. I don't know what gay. he, what he, how he identifies. It. Gay, bi, he, I don't he know. He says it in the video. Gay. Yeah, so that's Okay, how so Saucy's gay, Ack is straight. I don't believe Ack to be threatened or feel threatened mm -hmm. by anything Saucy Santana has to say. Bro, it's not even about whether he's threatened or not. It's just what it's saying. No, Joe just, Yo, that, just that being no, said. Joe, Joe just made the point. Per and that's the point that people will run with. That is exactly no, perfect it. example with it's Ray J. When Ray J went on Breakfast Club and went crazy on Fab. And the whole thing where he said, I'm going to have some mm -hmm. of the homies that mm -hmm. like the F the homies come. We mm -hmm. all looked at Ray J like, yo, you bugging. Like, you can't say that. Like, that's crazy. And you said it on syndicated yeah, yeah. national radio. I didn't say that when Ray J said that. Well, you didn't. But for the majority of people listening, we like, yo, Ray J bugging. Yo, that was funny. I just got a threat like that once yo, on Twitter, dog, too. I'm famously. I come from I come from Biggie lyrics. Like, this I was, <laughs> don't you know my nigga got a fucking kidnap kids? Fuck them yeah, in their ass, throw, throw them over, over the bridge. bridge. That's how it is. Like, and, and that's right. something no, that... You're right. And Gutter ain't like that lyric but, either. But, but not only that, <laughs> let wow. that he same, let, let, interview. Let that same verse it. drop today. I wouldn't like it either. <laughs> if I really do that. <laughs> why, you, Wait. why you indicting me? <laughs> what kind of shit is this? Big, you my man. Wait, yo, if I really do that... Yo, don't tell don't, 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 Biggie, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't blow up my spot. I'm, I'm, erase that. I'm a kidnapper and a rapist. Yo, don't you know my nigga? Use a fake name. <laughs> Fucking kidnap kids. <laughs> Yeah. No, nah, don't put my bits in. Take that out of <laughs> one of the best <laughs> albums ever made. <laughs> Joe just made the point. Joe, Joe made the point. Because somebody could say, yo, honestly, you know how women, it's women that joke about like taking it from a man. Mm hmm. Right? We look at it like it's a joke. But if a man can't joke like that. So Joe's point is, yo, the real is it a real threat for a woman to take it from a man? No. So that's the 99% of the time, no. That's and, that, and that, therein lies the difference. <clears throat> that's what you, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. But that's not a that's not a woman. So I think that men when you look a certain you, It's not a woman. That's a man and Saucy Santana is liable to try to pop off. And you have to put the you know so she said to see Act and put hands on him. You better get a chance. That's violate. what he said. He see, said now, told him to put Now that's up. the better conversation. <laughs> How will Act look if he put that gay nigga down? <laughs> hey, nigga, he can't. What that shit you say? He can't. <laughs> what you mean you can't? He can't. Why not? You crazy. Oh, you crazy, it's Ice. It's getting tricky. You oh, crazy. He it's can't. getting tricky. Oh, before you gay or not, you put your hands on me, niggas. I hear you. Up and stuck, But nigga. what happens? What happens? Ice, you out your mom. What you mean I, no, what happens? I'm, he gets I'm, no... beat up a gay dude. Nigga, I seen a gay nigga in this... get some... Some 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 backlash for that? Thousand percent. Hey, I, I so see fighting the, another man. Putting your head. Your eyes, listen nigga, to me, ice. Yes, yes. I seen see a gay nigga in the ice being torn between two worlds here. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just not trying to say shit. To get it fucked I, your up. Eyes, I seen a, a gay I'm, man I'm, in the city beat dog shit out of like two straight niggas. These right, niggas. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Washed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. We gotta jump that nigga out no. to the street. Jump that nigga. That nigga was like a superhuman. <laughs> and he did a sassy too. And he threw his head. Boom. I said, yo, we gotta jump him. I was gonna street hyper shit because I didn't wanna. He yo, was fucking the niggas. I'm saying, no, let, oh, ice, let, ice tell us, let Ice tell us why that can't happen. I no, 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 no. That's not what I was saying. You said if Act put, put Saucy Santana down. Yeah. I'm saying that. In which way? <laughs> hey, Paul, come on, man, you freak. You can't beat up a gay person. Stop, because Act Jamaican voice came out. He, he was he called him a, no, I'm not saying he can't. He called him, a, he called him a, dog, auntie boy. I'm not saying it's like physically he can't do it. I'm talking about backlash from that. You're saying it could be deemed as a hate crime yes, or something? Yes, nigga. Like, not if you threatening me. Not if that is all right, way. All right, what? No, all right, no. all right. We all right. can't, we, not we. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I want to make that clear. <laughs> that we, that we. Get that off you. I, so I don't know if that's true. Uh, okay. And shout out to our our, sketchy, our gay community out there that's listening. Mm. It is very sketchy. You to be charged 
For for a hate crime to go through, you have to prove that this fight happened because I hate you. Wait, right. I'm not saying that he because be I hate you. I'm just saying it will be yeah, like it will be backlash. Is all I'm saying. I'm oh, not saying okay, that he's gonna it. be charged with a hate crime. I didn't mean it that way. Okay, I'm just saying, it, but it. the backlash be solely because you beat up a gay man. It's gonna be a lot of backlash. And just I just want to throw out there that, and I'm not caping for none of this bush league shit, please. But I think that was Saucy Santana's response to Axe Vid, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did, did y'all hear Axe yeah. Vid? Yes. Okay. Oh. He, he was going a little crazy. Yeah. Oh. What'd he say? It was glowing. We is will too not say it on these airwaves, yeah, yeah. what he said. Yeah. Unrepeatable. But you you turned it on. You hit on. You turned it on. Act did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean. Gotcha. He normally does go. Yeah, he go. Goes. Yeah, you know, he don't turn it on, though. He went. Um, he'll take he it. He'll take Rumble it Act is different. He'll take it further. Mm-hmm. But no, Rumble don't, Act, don't I'm noticing, more. he don't give a fuck. Well, they probably support that over there Rumble a little bit. Rumble is not. He don't sure. give a fuck. He is, he is in a league of his own with that one. He does that. And, I don't And he go. When he go, he go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And again, I, I got to give it to him because he'll do it to guys too. Pause. Yeah. To some real bona fide niggas, he's turned up on. Yeah, he's went crazy my, on little baby and he's, other he's went crazy on my, my my issue with Ack is when he does this to people that, that I feel is unwarranted too. Like I didn't think that Scissor deserved what yeah. he did mm-hmm. to her. That's true. She didn't say nothing. She was minding the business. She's low. Like that was just a that's they rectified it, so whatever. But that's crazy. But everything else, eh. So what I'm saying is Saucy was in response to something that was flagrant. So all yeah. of it is flagrant. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. True. Got I, it. I, I'm just saying that what our point was, a straight man can't say certain things no matter what. Can't. And uh, just because a person is gay, they get to say certain things that would normally get a Maybe person. Maybe they're on rumble, rumble timing. Yo, I don't want to live Jam in a world up. without double standards. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I just, just want to. I just want to be able to identify where right. they are yeah, and what they are. That's literally it. It's just pointing it out. Like I don't think anything's <clears> gonna happen because of it, but it's just something to point out that hey, this particular group can say certain things that everybody else can't. Well, yeah. Well, there's oppressed group double standards. Sure, definitely, mm-hmm. definitely, thousand percent. I'll keep my black double standards as a. Whatever those may be, but when we got they, ours. When, we can when say they, they, happen, they can't. We flip when out. They, when they happen, saying. oh, that's when the argument get turned up. Disgust. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey when you identify at that point, that's when you're late. <laughs> oh, forget it, man. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> that's when we really gonna get to the bottom of some things. <laughs> So I don't want to lose those. Nah. I don't want to lose those. They ain't those. going nowhere. Double standards are going to be here forever. I asked them yesterday. I'm going to ask y'all. Do, mm-hmm. do, do, do y'all, would y'all, would you want to live in a world without deception? No. It's impossible. It's not what I asked. No, what I want to, no. Mm-mm. Like if you had the choice, would you take deception off the table? No. No. Got it. Was there context for the question? It was, it was a lot of context, but it's cool. I'm, I'm not, we're not going to do it. This looks juicy right here. What's going on? Cool. You got Give it. me the tea. You can do it quick. Eh, 30 seconds. Um, we, we had a conversation and we were speaking about the possibilities. If, if Joe's with it, you know, he's in a relationship and mm-hmm. he just so happens to go to a Whole Foods, right? Mm-hmm. And he sees an attractive person or not even attractive, just a woman that he sees at Whole Foods. Mm-hmm. And he goes another day, ends up seeing her again, mm-hmm. helps us to the car with shit. Mm-hmm. And then at some point they continue this pattern to the point where we now realize we got the same Whole Foods. We got the, yeah, we on the same Whole Foods oh, that's schedule my Whole all Foods of a sudden. Buddy now. now we decide to go do lunch Ooh. at Whole Foods. At Whole Foods, don't do that. Again, organic they chicken. Serve, I learned from Ish. Yeah. <laughs> they got that, that used to be that Ish was Keith Lee the Whole Foods. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> 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 Keith Lee <laughs> Whole Foods. Yeah. That was Ish spot. <laughs> All right, my bad. I'm, so, I'm so, again, my so, bad. So, so that Whole Foods. he's what? doing all that on the lunch break. He's doing that, slaps. but he's not telling his girl. Uh huh. And his mind is still innocent. He feels like he's <laughs> owed the right of being able to be deceptive in that because he just doesn't want the headache of having to explain to her how simple this situation is. Right? Mm-hmm. It's not deception. I wouldn't look at that situation necessarily as deception. 
It's towing the line. If she asks, oh, you're you're you're, you're, you're you're you are you are entering the gray area disagree. at one thousand percent. I disagree. No. Keep going. But you technically, and you guys love to live in the technical world. You technically haven't done anything wrong, and you have technically haven't done anything. That no, we you, agree. No, yeah. we agree. No, I'm because I feel like said, he's about to disagree. We, we also said that. If your relationship mm -hmm. is important to you, yes. you want to maintain it, you do know that what you're doing can start to build some level of mistrust and questions now being asked in the relationship yeah, when they do find out. Yeah. So what would be the purpose in risking yeah. all of that just for the like just for a connection with your Whole Foods chick? I really wish y'all was here for this <laughs> yesterday. Because I, I can't respond to this because it's going to bring us there. But All right, let me ask oh. you a question. If you meet if it's if it's a dude that you start to develop that relationship with, that's or, different, and you know it's different. I'm at, yo, dog. I'm, I ain't even get my question. Out. Go ahead. It, is that dude platonic relationship now worthy of you bringing it to your wife's attention? No, because that dude is not a threat to our relationship because I'm not fucking a dude. Okay, <laughs> and she's not worrying about a dude. Oh, uh, uh, we she, just we she, just passed through gray. I, I want. I know. Yeah. I want, I'll give you another one. If the woman is highly unattractive. Is that still a threat? Niggas series? fuck unattractive bitches every day. Next. That is a fact. Not everybody. Oh, 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 shout out to y'all out there that's fucking them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm asking you, would your wife, we, we had this conversation about the work wife and the work husband. Mm -hmm. If your work husband is the, the I don't want to even give a descriptive, but he's a highly unattractive man, your, your husband don't feel the same way about you calling him your work husband? That's not if, if the work wife is some highly unattractive young lady, your wife don't feel the same way. It's not true. That, yeah, that ain't true. Niggas, it's not true. Niggas. Depends on the person. Depends yeah. on how they think. It depends on how they feel. It's subjective. They might still be uh, intimidated by Insecure, the other motherfucker. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, you can't say that. Gotcha. My thing is this. If you, the, you don't have no plans on fucking the lady. Now, if you do have plans on fucking the lady, then, of course, it's an issue. But if you don't have any plans on fucking this lady, then... And you wouldn't do for a man what you would do for the lady. I don't see the dis. How 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 is somebody supposed to base their feelings off of your intentions that they don't know about? I don't know what your intentions is when I see some shit going on. So I'm just case, assuming never, because I don't know about it. If that's the case, you should never have a girlfriend. Then. Because the trust now comes into, I don't know what your decision is going to be when you step outside this door every single day. This is what Joe said yesterday. That's what I said. <laughs> I don't know what your intent's going to be when you step outside. When you go to a club and you go with your niggas, when you go to the strip club and you go with your niggas, I don't know what your intent is. Can I ask a question? Does everyone in here assume? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we're allowed that if I find out some shit that you've kept, I won't, I won't even say kept hidden, you kept to yourself. Omitted. Right? Mm -hmm. Omitted. Am I not now to assume that there's other things that you're possibly keeping from me? That, that would be a natural worse? assumption. That's to a natural no. assumption. Yeah, and if we all know that as people, assumption. why would you even I'm a risk laugh that? I'm at you in the house going crazy L over my whole food bag. Let me ask you this. Bag. Omission is when you... <laughs> you doing all this over my whole food bag? Nigga, omission you gonna is when you ask me something and I leave it You're going to disrupt the sanctity of our home? You but gonna you fuck up our good vibe yeah, but over a whole food no, bag? The, the reply could be you gonna fuck up our good vibe to keep somebody's secret that don't matter to She's you. Not that makes it's not a secret. It's not a secret. Okay. But you ain't tell her. How was your whole food okay. trip? Oh, you're not gonna tell her. Oh, I sat down with this lady. You just gonna say I got kale. Yeah. If somebody asks you a question and then you omit, that's omission. If somebody asks you a question and you lie, then that's deception. But throughout the, my normal course of my day, if I'm just in Whole Foods and I'm eating with the chick that's cool with me in Whole Foods, I don't have wait, to go wait. home and report every step right. of well, my wait, day wait. to my girl. You don't. You don't think that omission is a lie? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Omission though is omission. when I ask you, yeah. yo, who was at the party? You. And you say, yo, me, Joe, and Imani went, but I left out Sharon and Keisha. That's omission. So you are lying. If she asks you, oh, I'll be doing if that. she asks you, yeah, I'm sure the facts is a lie. Every time I'm out with you, it's never about you. If your girl asks you, yo, you I have, always omit the good pussy around. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, no, no, no. just me and the guys. <laughs> it's I, a lie. That's a lie. No, I'm joking. Purposeful by the way. omission. I'm joking. It's like, Agreed. <laughs> if you talking, you catching up with your girl later on the day. She asks you, "What you have for lunch?" Oh, <laughs> turkey and cheese. Okay. Keep going. Is, I'm is just saying. That's all to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, what'd you do for lunch? What'd you have for lunch? I, like, did you eat something? Lasagna, bitch. No, no, like, no, no, no. Like, you omit it. Why, why, why no, you stick on, with it. Why you on my what did you, No, stick with it. What did you do for lunch? That's omission. He's not, I now, ate the lunch. <laughs> now, see? Now, right. you, now, you, no, now you're approaching, now you're broaching the purposeful omission. Now you're starting to lie. 
That's deceptive. But if again, just me and my, I'm telling you, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with y'all. I'm saying with the context that y'all gave, I disagree with because it wasn't nothing for me to. I'm, if I go see, if I see my homegirl at fucking Home oh. Depot, I don't go tell my girl. Y'all That's see my not the girl same home. thing as what same we thing, said. Right? Seeing your homegirl at Home Depot is not the same thing. And we you now planning out I'm your sorry. whole food schedule based around seeing the same person. No, and now we never doing said that. Just, We're not planning. Not planning. It's just said the schedules just happen to line right. up. I've been to Whole Foods four times, and I've seen this person there four times. Four times. But then I asked you how much. And I'm mannerable and polite and sexy. So I mean, you know, it was a little. <laughs> Look, I chat. Damn, you following me? <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Joe, that situation. No, no, no. I, I do the. Well, I used to do the. I promise. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not following you. <laughs> I'm so corny. I'm so corny. That's a good one. It worked. It worked. In that That's situation, someone, someone's planning this. I out. promise you, I'm not following. You. Someone's planning it. Yo, e, we asked Joe. Now you see her, her. Her fit change a little bit. Now she got some. She got the extra tight shit on because she was expecting to. You. We asked mm -hmm. we asked Joe how much times he go to, he go to Whole Foods. He said twice a week. Yeah. Nigga, you seeing this person twice a week? Is that eight times a month? I used to go to Whole Foods every day. Now, if you see the person every day and you become familiar, now you're building a bond. Mm -hmm. So if you don't tell your girl that, not, like, and I asked Joe this question: What if one day your girl come at Whole Foods? You can't ask sure, You can't oh, ask him that. You can't ask oh, yeah. him that. Okay. Because he's going he to get around the fact that he's, I'm a security. She, yeah, it, it, I wish niggas fire. would be honest about the fact that if no, this shit was the other way he, around, what he said we was, would trip. What he said was fire. It's true. You have I, to trust your woman. Right. I do eventually want to put that episode out. Right. So, that's not true. We <laughs> should probably All right, exit let's move on. this. Right? Okay. okay. Uh, uh, you guys. <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift apparently sold 1.2 or 1.5 million copies of her re-recorded album that she was in the Scooter Braun fight about. I don't know the name of it because uh, I didn't. 1989. 1989 is the name of the album. It's her biggest album, I think, yeah. previously. And, and now. Okay. 1.5 on a re-release? That's fucking is, dope. 1.5 on a release is crazy. Talk that shit, Tay-Tay. 1.5 on a re-release? <laughs> Taylor Swift is her. You, yeah. you see, what, uh, you see, you see what Pat Mahomes and Travis Kelsey see. look like when she don't go to the game. <laughs> well, nah. You see, she did 1.5 now that she got with Travis Kelsey. You know what I'm saying? Put some spec on his name. Uh, That's what that was. That NFL look helped her out know what I mean that's right I yeah got, we, we I taking that back Tay -Tay. now we fuck taking that now nah, fuck that <laughs> all the way <laughs> fuck that that's fuck Tay Tay, that. Tay -Tay, nigga I don't care we taking that back you seen I them, seen them you, try to do it the other way around now you seen what the movie theaters did Travis Kelsey stimulus package that's what it was <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right get him, get, no, that's man. what it was so what is this about the record labels trying to put a stop to uh, the, the oh, re-recorded release? They started re putting in um, <laughs> they, they clauses. The, they, they started, yeah. Yeah, they, no re-record clause for 30 years. Some in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. You can never re-record this shit in the contracts. Before it was five to seven years or two years after the deal ends, whichever was hey, greater. So now that they saw what she's doing and a couple other people, but her success really... It's like, oh no, we going we want to put it into this. So now new deals, they're putting in thirty years perpetuity. Like you just can't re-record ever. I'm with Meek Mill now, yo. I'm with Meek. On which he has a lot of opinions out there. The <laughs> shit, the shit that these record labels be doing. If you tried this shit in anywhere outside, a nigga would smoke your boots. Dog, it's my shit. You saying I can't re-record it? Never. Well, it's no union. So I mean, at the end of the day, they can do whatever Fuck. they want. And that's all. Every time it's, it's a cat and mouse game. Every time mm -hmm. you get an around artist or it. something finds a, a way around it, mm -hmm. they come in and say, "Nope, we're going to change the rules again, so that that's no longer crazy. applies, or we have to eat off of that." Now, now this only that. applies obviously to people who are signing new contracts. Yeah, this is new. So, for the rest of the world, you're all right. Yeah, but even, people, but even on the re, but, uh, but on, on your re sign, yeah, yeah, on, on your, your re up, yeah, it could be on your re. We're going to throw it in there too. But a lot of people are now doing like distro deals through mm -hmm. uh, labels, so. It'll be interesting to see how many people it actually affects that it'll be impactful for. Because. Well, we won't really if know. If you're popping, you're not signing no flat out right. deal. Artists, with, yeah, yeah, you're signing a distro deal. It's going it's it's to affect, affect those. Yeah, it's going to affect those who get popping after the deal. True. They're going to be the ones hit the hardest, which is going to be, it's usually more of them. True. What's your opinion? Change the rule after a, a big black person gets a re-release. Don't change True. it just after Taylor. Do whatever y'all want after the next person gets to eat off the the re-release. Yeah, but if they but and this is only gonna be this. I think as it stands, this will only be applicable to the 
Mega. The big, big, the, the mega. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but she's a mega. So it's like, yo, dog, if it's going to affect them, then of course the trickle down is even more damaging. I think this affects everybody. Yeah, it does. Her. It does. Uh, this is applicable all the way across the board because, hey, let's say somebody's in a bad deal now. They put an album out and, you know, the label do whatever they used to do. Just buy streams or put you wherever you need to be and pump your sales through the roof. You still weren't necessarily a star yet, but you let's say you achieve stardom down the line. Mm-hmm. Now you're in this bad deal and you try to pull the Taylor move and say, yo, let me re-record these records so that now with my newfound stardom, I could eat off these properly. They they exit that out. Can I ask, how does this even work though? Because I'm I'm I know about the rule. <clears throat> but you're re-recording the project. So that's me. Are you reproducing the records? Like from still, scratch. Yeah, like yeah. like is this uh you're doing so like I can't new imagine engineers, a lot of people new... would even have the funds or the funding to do that on their own anyway. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people are just not going to be able to keep up with that level of... Remember we talked to Tank? Shit, period. And Tank was like, yo, I could go in the studio and re-record the shit, but that's a voice I had 20 years ago. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but Taylor Swift is not as seasoned as Tank. So she still, she can go in there and make that happen in a heartbeat. Even if she had a private investor to come behind you and funnel you to bread they return gonna be crazy yeah, right right you know what i'm saying so i i think it's more slavery i think yeah. that's all i'm saying i just think it's some more bullshit it's they found a way they didn't they didn't cut a hole in the fence let's patch that up now mm-hmm. that's it that's it yeah that's all it is it's the music business yeah 1.5 and the re-release is something else <laughs> god <laughs> damn Tay-tay. what was the last album that sold a million in the first week didn't views do that she's the biggest artist right I'd say if she put out mm-hmm. a re-release and it did 1.5 or 1.2, anything one, anything one. Yeah, <laughs> last person to sell a million in the first week, it's been uh, a, Adele did. That may be true. Oh, Adele did that last year. Uh-huh. Adele did. The gray whites, boy, you know them. Whites. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know. You know them gray whites and <laughs> Lena. What's wrong with you, one nigga? I have never mind, and I'm sorry, oh, man. I'm yo, sorry. this guy, yo. You want me to stop watching your content? <laughs> no, we your, just support That's, you know that's your mean? business You can watch whatever you wish Okay Okay Thank you Yo, I don't want you to memorize it though <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm gonna go watch your Need to know interview I'm gonna just memorize Every single thing you said Oh that'll be flying No, nah, what Oh A little stalkerish uh, Taylor Swift is her uh, mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian Seeing Taylor Swift At the football game Was like Alright hold my beer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you there for the entertainment Watch this <laughs> Bringing these panties Right over to the league <laughs> She smoked that man. She, she did. really did. Yeah, she did. Can't be mad. This whole skim shit and what they doing. Even the conspiracy theories floating around it with her and Nick Bosa and they, they saying she doing her Trump shit. Hey it's hey like, hey. For something to pop, you need a good conspiracy theory too. Now. True. Wait, what's the? I don't understand what the conspiracy. She tried to get in cool with Trump. No, she's already she cool. With, oh, she's, she's already cool, cool with Trump. With yeah. Trump. And she's taking her number one selling brand and giving big advertising spots to Trump lovers like Nick Bosa uh, and a few more of them in preparation for the campaign that's coming. They're saying that she is trying to just run, run for something, run oh parallel. God. She will mm-hmm. definitely be in politics. Just, you know, that's been the rumor. Just be I know something. she went for the law degree and, and all she that. Got stuff. The law that degree. sounds like a, a, a that sounds like you're getting ready. A projector, sounds like yeah. you're getting ready for trajectory. something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially if you just watch your fucking husband do what he did with running as Kanye West. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to outdo him. Or and learn, I, and learn I think some, some of the workings. When, when, once you get to a certain dollar amount, it, it ain't nothing to do but get try, political. Or, or mm-hmm. try and prove improve the world and so if you are lo- you know a noble person I think yeah, you start looking at ways to improve society <laughs> if you're not a noble motherfucker now you just look that's at the rules some shit just a little more money to get, you can get a little more power you can just rule yeah you're just <laughs> looking to rule some shit so but Kim Kardashian and her skims her skims line have a deal with the NBA mm-hmm. that's innovative in itself true I think the NFL is next on both on both parts they said they are That'd be crazy. They said, so. that, they said the NFL shit is is inked, and then they said that um, it gives her some brand leverage where she can start using the NBA teams on her shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so now you can start marketing the boys, the little boys, having the Dallas Mavericks on your shit, the Lakers mm-hmm. on your shit, whatever the case may be. Mm. Oh shit! The Jeff That's Hamilton that. skims. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! Nah, man. the Jeff Hamilton go, skims. Man. I'm in there like skimwear. <laughs> 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 skimwear. 
Listen, <laughs> shout out, shout out to her. She's making a whole lot of money. Did you guys, I mean, that's she's really all I have to Did say. you guys have an opinion on the um the nipple bra that she's peddling right now? Oh yeah, now we talk. Yeah, you know, mm. you know that's our now bag. We talk. Wait, Let's break down bras. So she's made a bra. So she's, so she's made a bra that. Can you stop touching your nipples. <laughs> Sorry. For the nipples. So she's God made a bra damn. that um ha- features nipples, like kind of prominently. Dog. So when you put a shirt on, a tight fitting like shirt, it looks like you've got hard nipples. I'm gonna get some boxers with a joint on it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the next logical Yo, one would, step. Why would nobody ever think to do that? No, they did. Victoria's Secret did it already. Oh, uh, yeah. Buddy. They just ain't had a marketing the dollars behind K. No, they got Victoria's no, Secret. Victoria's Secret got the marketing. I mean, they it got just, dollars. It yeah, just was a Kim, while ago. Kim is involving black blacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's the difference between Vicky's Secret and <laughs> there Kim, is a big Kim there, is there, there is kind of a difference, but yeah. So they've started. She started making these bras and. You want to see those skinny white nipples? Yeah. Victoria's Secret, y'all nasty as hell, man. Y'all got the big ass, big ass bin full of fucking panties and shit when you walk in. All the fat bitches picking them up, throwing them back in the fucking... Two for 35. Yeah, nasty. Yeah, y'all just... Y'all so disgusting. Then y'all go on putting that shit on your fucking clits. Yeah. I'm gonna be mad when women take them bras off and the nipples don't match the imprint. I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start a little prank show because I be in Target. We passed that time then. Oh, we just yeah. take, take whatever nipple yeah, she can get. Got a nipple. The nipple be... Dead. be picking up them panties and the fucking bras and shit and talking Target talking, smelling them like it's food and putting that shit back on the rack. Excuse me? One day we're going to get into that Target demo. Like some of the people, Target, they need a security guy in the front. Like, nah. they need to be, Target need to be like Soho Club. Like, had, anybody shouldn't be in Target. I just had this argument the other day. That Target and Walmart demo are different. Very. Oh boy. Very. You don't need to. Secure. I don't really go to Walmart. I know. That's the point. <laughs> you wouldn't need I don't go to Walmart. You were going there one, one time. Hey. I don't uh, really go to Walmart. I don't go there either. You say you want to see the I dusty be. whites. <laughs> you want to see the dirty feet whites? No, they no. at Walmart, I don't bro. Want, I don't want to see them in open space. That's where they win. Uh. <laughs> Walmart is... That's how they pillage. We do move well in space. That's how they pillage. <laughs> I want to I want to walk in Red Lobster where it's narrow and bump the shit out of one of them niggas. Open space where there's rifles. <laughs> yeah. You think I ain't see Ice-T hey, in surviving stupid, the game? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen too many movies where they just drop a nigga in the middle of the woods. Oh, run! Nigga, <laughs> run, Forrest! Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Fool, son. No, sir. No, Walmart. Bob. Walmart is different. Yeah, Walmart is dirt. I'm, cool. I'm cool on that. Shh. Me too. Uh, what else is going on? What else is going on? <laughs> Ice, you want to fill us in on this James Harden trade? How you feel, man? I'm glad. I mean, I'm, I'm, the process has been dead, but I'm, I'm glad he's out of here, Wait, man. you don't trust the process anymore? No, no, no. I don't trust the pro- I've stopped trusting the process last year. I remember actually. why Ice told me the Sixers were going to win a chip before the Lakers. I did say that. You did. I was wrong. Yeah. yeah. And y'all probably win more before us. I have no type of faith in this process anymore. Damn. I just watch it now just for entertainment. But yeah, Harden finally, they finally got the trade done. Um, I was reading that the NBA, like, caught the Sixers or something kind of because the season started the first game against Milwaukee was a national game mm. and Harton didn't play right but he wasn't injured so they were mm. like yo you gotta explain this because with our new that new load management mm. and all that shit uh-huh. you can't just have a superstar or all star sit out For no without reason. a without a, a um, there's like a list of reasons that are approved so they basically had to get him out of here they had to get him out of here we were yes, so gallantly streaming. <laughs> Sound better than Fergie. And Way better than Fergie. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Flames. That nigga's like Joe. No, let's go. Out the building. Come on, right this way. That's hey. Nights like this. Flavor Flames. Dog. Who on God's green earth would ask Flavor Flav to do the national anthem at the Bucks? The Bucks? At the Bucks game. They've asked worse, I'm pretty sure. And they said they asked him to do more. That sounded like a hot fucking mess. I just want. I don't think it was that bad. Oh. It was better than I thought it was going to be. Listen, I ain't going to. Yeah. <laughs> when, I know if, when I heard it was Flavor Flav, I was like, oh, okay. If it was a professional singer, then he sounded like some bullshit. If we're going to let Flavor Flav do that, then let Kodak Black stay on Drink Champs. <laughs> no, man. 
What's wrong with you? He ain't look crazy. He ain't look crazy. He didn't though. look crazy. Oh. He looked healthy. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> oh, he didn't look crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Y'all got it. Hey, crazy is subjective. There That's true. Crazy there is you subjective. Go. Speaking of crazy being subjective, is it true? To, was Drake Ice Spice for Halloween? I don't know. I don't think that was him. I don't think that was him. That was the other. Stop, yo. That was that fake Drake dude. Stop. I'll tell you what. Better, I thought it was. No, nah, it's the fake one. Oh, and I wouldn't put it past him if it was. Because he do shit to just get the internet talking. That wasn't him, Drake, man. Drake, Ice Spice. At, come on, y'all. Come on. Does that sound far-fetched for him? I got a little more faith in the boy than that. Come on, y'all. Does that sound far-fetched for him? A little bit. Yes. It sounds far-fetched for Drake to want to dress up like Ice Spice for fucking hot. Okay. Yes, what the fuck are we talking about? All right. Come on, yo. I don't put it past I know me. you ain't like the album, but yeah. like, nothing good. <laughs> Come on. I, don't, I just said I don't put level it. Some respect Bruh, and look, The nigga had the clips in his head. Like, I, I don't put it past him doing things like this. He do this shit to get the internet talking. So that's why when I saw it, I said, oh, shit. Okay, well, it's, it's one brand with the shit that Drake be doing. And I left Dressing it Dressing up that. like a woman? Damn it. Nah, it was, it was Ice Spice. Right, it wasn't it. just that. <laughs> Not dressed. I didn't. Like I said, I thought it was. Go him. Ahead. Look, go ahead. <laughs> Why your face turning red? Because I think niggas was crazy. Me too. That's crazy to think that a nigga would niggas be, be that like, attention seeking niggas, to dress like a woman. Niggas want to be Ice Spice. Niggas was just fucking turning Taylor Swift. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was. And fuck all this. I wish. Wait, I gotta go buy that Britney Spears book. Mm. I want to hear more about this black set. Tell you, Yo, <laughs> tell me about what that freak ass nigga was doing in the house. <laughs> I want to hear it for shizzle. I want to hear. It. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> for shizzle. <laughs> um, let's see what else. What else is important? Uh, Joe Smith and his wife. Oh wait, we ain't even say nothing about Kim's built-in nipples. The nipple bra. We ain't even say nothing. What y'all take? We just said something, bro. Oh. Uh, no, we oh, they, they, said, they all, all right. seem to approve. I just said I'm gonna be mad when you take the bra off and the nipples. Come on, match. man. Let's That's talk to the chicks out there that 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 help birth this idea with their horrible nipples. <laughs> the hairy ones. Oh man, the braille, the, the braille one ones. with the brails. The, 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 that shit, you can, the blind person be job or Stevie Wonder's. That shit spells some shit out. <laughs> the une- yeah, the yeah, cross eyed yeah, shit. Yeah, the cock eyed nipples. Cross eyed. <laughs> cock eyed <laughs> nipples is the worst. <laughs> The shit's that fucking can't even get hard no more. You sitting there trying to... <laughs> Mel, are you buying these? She fucking lost the feeling. I don't need How it. many niggas sucked on this? Oh, well, you, you missed that? Okay. <laughs> you heard what she said? Yeah, I heard it. Mel Respect. don't need that. Why y'all riding Mel? Because I'm sexy. Look at me. The fuck? Mm. I'm a nigga, Mel. <laughs> That nipple you gotta feel around for. <laughs> oh, flat. It's flat. Under here? I know. Oh, shit. Then it's the nipples oh, wow. that be underneath the shit. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't know it slid down there by my bag. It's last like when I forget about the child protector shit on my cabinet. It's like, oh, shit. I mean, <laughs> I mean oh, open it. <laughs> 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 Yo, you stupid dog. Oh, yeah. I think it's a genius idea and shout out to mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian, man. Anybody saw the boxing match? That shit was on a two o'clock hell though. <laughs> hell no, I ain't watched some shit. I did. I'd have watched it if it was right. I liked time. it. My man called me up like, oh, we watched the fight. I'm like, yeah, I, what time? I, I liked it. Um because Homeboy can box. And that was his first time in a boxing fight. Yes. And I, I just found out that Mike Tyson was actually helping train him. He was training him. So I think if he really stick with that, like he could be for sure a, a, a He knocked champion. him down. He knocked Tyson Fury he knocked down. Him, I mean, he caught him with a good good hit. I mean, I I do think on points, Tyson Fury did still win. Um, but, I mean, who knows? Let homeboy get a little, little more bearings. He was going to win if he didn't win. They ain't jeopardizing that bag from his upcoming fight for this nigga that don't box over in Saudi where everybody got paid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody over there got paid. I was looking at Kanye. Oh, that bag, bag. Him and him. (laughs) (laughs) Jay Prince, Mike Tyson. These niggas got bag, bag. Vince McMahon. Yeah, Vince McMahon. Yeah, I'm trying. Listen, hey, (laughs) ear. Yo, don't leave us off of Emirates. I like boxing too. (laughs) Yeah, we will. We will come pod right right there. Like what a blow! <laughs> <laughs> First knockdown. We'll do a live pod. Come on, man! Stop leaving us out the fun. No. Mel will come lick the bottom of some glasses. Over there. <laughs> Mel will come and be ring girl. 
God damn, don't don't all talk at <laughs> once. What the fuck? I gotta be in the club with you and say, ah, oh, come with, on. With, I got, I with the Kims? With the Kim <laughs> joint on it? There we go. I mean, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. The bag is big enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mel, any of this from old lady? Mel, word. Mel, you okay? <laughs> know, you right? okay? You want to eat? I'm de- no. <laughs> <laughs> That's some ecstasy shit you're asking. Don't talk, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> natural adrenaline. Natural <laughs> adrenaline. Nah. Yeah. Mm, shut up. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, like every time we gotta, I ain't gonna say it. You look good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um. Y'all want to talk about Keith Lee? Keith Lee going to Atlanta, going to restaurants and doing reviews in his car? Let's talk about it. I mean, sure. All right. There's a food reviewer named Keith Lee. Mm -hmm. I'm just now learning about him uh, these past few days. Mm -hmm. Uh, And he does uh, does food reviews uh, city to city. And this weekend he was in Atlanta. He visited some really popular establishments out Mm -hmm. there. And he gave a lot of not so favorable reviews, but in a really diplomatic way, mm-hmm. like and not in a hateful, malicious, rude kind of way. He was just honest with his opinion and his critique. Mm-hmm. He does it from his car. He says his family in. His thing is he wants to be treated like a regular person. He wants this review to be like a normal paying person. He wants no special treatment. Sends his family in. They either get the food or eat it there. Or they bring it out to the car and he does a live review on his Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. And he's amassed quite the following. And he had Atlanta streets in a frizzy. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Who did he shit on? Uh, Milk and Honey was one restaurant that he went to. And okay. then the another restaurant that he went to was Old Lady Gang, which is Candy Burris's um, mom and <clears throat> aunts and, and, uh, and them. Okay. Yeah. Nobody cared about that nice way he's saying it. Fuck no, 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 no. He's he's ah yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's that, been doing this for a long time on yeah. TikTok. So he has a reputation of being the guy who one hundred percent is fair with his shout judgments. out to the diplomatic. It's behavior. the same thing as mystery shopping. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, yeah. secret so, shoppers. And he's yeah, also one of the guys where he still pays he, whether he likes the food or not, and mm-hmm. he tips big. And he's been honest. Like he's helped a lot of restaurants in the moment of not being noticed get mm-hmm. shine for. The food, right, right. It's good so and bad. He's probably helped some restaurants with Steak. bad service get better service yeah. too. I would so, imagine. Yeah. I think he was fair though. A lot of stuff he was talking about. Atlanta, they don't do takeout. I mean, uh, they don't do delivery service. They don't let you place orders over the phone. They like, got some strange it's, rules in Atlanta. Atlanta's hard. Like, well, that could be. Let's be honest. That's, that's the popping restaurant. Yeah, though. Like, yeah. If I'm busy, yo, dog. If we super duper Kids. busy, I not, I might not necessarily have the ability to do takeout. I might not necessarily have the ability to take orders over the phone. We got an hour, two hour wait, my nigga. Now we gonna divert our staff and resources to do that. We might not have the, or we might not have to do Uber Eats. Man, I want that nigga. We got a line well, restaurants outside. get hoes on Uber Eats too, so I can see them not doing that for that reason too. Got you, but you get what I'm saying? Like I, I think in a service business, any service business, mm-hmm. I think um, customer service is paramount. Again, I don't give a fuck what it is. If you own a paint company, if you own a cleaners, whatever the case may be, I think customer service is paramount. I just think that sometimes if you go there once, it might not be a good representation of what the establishment is about. He also says that in his video. What? One time? That, hey, uh, don't take my review for for your review. Come here, get your own experience, and... Mm-hmm. Yeah, restaurant, you might get yeah, bad, sir. If they're, if they're super lit and there might be some other fucked up shit happening, like a, ta- a big party, big tables, taking up a lot of time, you might get bad service. And it's really not their fault. They're just slim. We like, just might not have time to cater to your specific needs. Especially if this, it's a to-go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or if we popping. Right. If we popping, I got 17 other tables that's about to be seated in a half an hour. I got to get this shit done. I can't deal with you, Mr. Johnson. Uh, Keith Lee, keep you and your fucking family and (laughs) in-laws and kids and your wife out of my restaurant. Get the fuck out. Don't come in here. I got mice in the back. (laughs) (laughs) Now, he might get you lit. What you want me to do? Hey, it was a Wendy's somewhere in one of them West Bubble Fucks somewhere. The whole thing of bread. There was a mouse, mice in there. They were shitting all over the bread. Yeah. The employees ran out snitching on them all on the news. <laughs> it was a mess. But anyway, I like what Keith Lee is doing. If I, As a business owner, I can't say I would want him and his family in my establishment. I know everything ain't the greatest in here, and I don't need you shedding light on that. But, but, it goes back but and- kudos. Yeah. But it, kudos to him. But he ain't doing in, an inspection, though. He's not walking through the kitchen and seeing yeah. what's back there. Like, he's, he's solely talking about I'm the customer service and the food. Man, Keisha yeah. was on her period. 
She, yeah, word. She was a little rude to you. You gonna just put the shit on <laughs> and, TikTok? Like, and yo, as black people, I'm we dope. say it too many times that the spots with the horrible customer service have the fire food, especially yes. when it comes to Jamaican <laughs> spots and oxtail spots. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I've hundred percent stayed Jamaican away spot. from certain places just based off of the customer service, mm-hmm. whether the food is good or not. But I ain't gonna I'm lie, hearing I'm not, about it. Oh no, if food is banging, I'm going there regardless of the service. Nah, if I'm, I'm you deal with, it has to be super foul. Nah, yeah, you do. Nope. You'll deal with the bullshit. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, not I you. I, I, some niggas would. Nigga, Jamaica hey, spot. Hey, I went, y'all, y'all know I came here and told y'all I went to a spot and I had a horrible experience and I was like, yo, I ain't never going there again. I didn't come in here and shit on them because we know the owner. But I was just like, I'm. The, I mean, you you made a call and you know they rectified, rectified it and everything, but mm. I'm. Mm-mm. If it's bad service like that, I'm cool. I got you. I, got you. I don't care how good the food is, bro. Don't give me no Man. terrible now, service. Now, would you, would you go back? Now? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because I know you I, No, 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 no. Not even that. Because I had a much better experience. After Flip made a phone call for you. Correct. Now, of course, they're going to roll out the red carpet and give you the above average experience. Yeah, but Correct. they shouldn't have to take that. But it should, that's still not representative of, of how they what think of you. you got when yeah. you went. Correct. But now when I go back, I get that service. I'm cool. Oh, because you can pick up the phone and call Also, me. I want to insert in here that... You know, that's really noble and commendable that Keith Lee wants to be treated like a normal person when he goes out because the paying customer. I don't want to live in a world where we are taking uh, uh, preferential treatment off of the table. Especially at yeah, restaurants. Me yeah, me I me when I walk in the door and it's a two hour wait, you I want somebody to be like, oh shit, Joe, <laughs> hold up real quick. <laughs> two minutes. Hey, bust that table down. Hey, family of eight, wait outside in your car. Joe is here. Like, I, I want that. I ain't gonna lie. I like Keith that. Lee talking yeah. about some. Hey, hey, how were you able to get us a table so fast in five minutes when my family was just here and it was an hour wait? And then they said some obviously obvious lies and bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, oh, nobody came up when we called the name. Here go Keith Lee. You know what? On second thought, I'm gonna go eat somewhere else. Thank you. You can give the table to someone else. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I want to say to y'all out there with that passive aggressive, God bless you too. Yeah, we all want that. I hate that. Yo, the wrong God bless you could get you fucked up. <laughs> the wrong you, could get you blessed. The wrong be safe could get, get you, you fucked up. You can't get you cursed out. You better be careful. Hey, some of that shit sound like a threat. God bless you. Why you need to bless me? <laughs> and then when they add the yeah, beloved to it, oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. when they add the beloved to it, bless your heart. Yeah. Oh all, yeah. Nah, nah, all nah, the nah, blessings. Nah, 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 all blessings. Don't, 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 don't even bless me if I sneeze now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but be careful though, because Keith Lee is a, a trained uh, MMA fighter. Oh, he might fuck you up. So dude, just because that humble, he do all this little humble, you know, little shit that you do when you want to. Hit Make people think that shit like cheese food. It don't work. It I don't do work. It. I do this shit. Niggas look right past the fucking <laughs> yoga shit. Like Joe, you on bullshit. Don't do that with me. Yeah. So I wouldn't suggest. Oh, Keith Lee does Keith. MMA. He he will fuck somebody up. So I wouldn't suggest people just go pop up on Keith Lee because they don't like his reviews. Lamb mm. chops and karate chops. Yeah. Gotcha. Where in New York would you like to see Keith Lee do a uh, a review? Amy Roofs. Niggas still go to Amy. You still Roofs? go to Amy Roofs. Right. <laughs> Yo, Yo, what fucking year are we in, nigga? <laughs> like Chris Sister, yeah, when, when, when Melba's and um, Boulevard Bistro was two packed, you gotta go somewhere. You oh, just go walk down the block and go to. Oh, you nasty Dang. going to Amy Roof still. You might as well go to Sylvia's. Yo, that's, not that's on 125th. <laughs> you on one, if you're on 116th, you just go to Amy, Amy Roof's. is 20 something. I'm gonna years have to give ago. you some wrecks out in Harlem. Dang. I can't. Wow. I want to send Keith Lee to a few Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> a couple bodegas on the chopped cheese be a little foul, too. Yeah, Talk about I don't it. have no real establishments he need to go Hello, to. Kurtz. Yeah, because yeah, you joke. He need to come to New York and have, and have a time. He, t- he, he, t- t- yeah. no. he going to pull that MMA out of his pocket because they going to be... <laughs> <laughs> they gonna yeah. They'll follow you he outside, better. nigga. He like, better. Yeah. He better be on his... He going to need it. Yeah, he definitely... You, gonna you, can't tell a nigga, you can't tell a nigga in the restaurant in New York, oh, no, thank you. I don't want no table. God bless you. Wait, whoa, 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 nigga. What you mean? You made me clear that they yo, following big, yo, you outside. Yo, big bro, big bro, they going to bring bro, the table yeah. to your car. throw the food in your face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you going to sit here at this table. Review this. Sit your ass down. They going to bring the table to your car. They going to bring the table to your car. You going to sit here. They going to block it. Why are we like that in New York? Review these. We so ignorant, son. We so ignorant. Well, shout out to Keith Lee. He's funny, He will come here. New York has provided a really unique experience eating and don't trash them. If you want to know how to <laughs> That's a good impression, too. That yeah, was a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did him in fast forward. Yeah, that did, was impressive. Yeah. You must have been watching that nigga this whole weekend. I saw all the clips. 
I tried to ignore it at first because I didn't know who the fuck Keith Lee was. I thought it was Sarah Lee's brother. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I thought they were talking about some cupcakes and shit. <laughs> Oh shit! Sarah Lee had a new, ba- new batch out. <laughs> Sarah Lee had a twin. Stupid <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, man. Man. Yo, what's wrong with this nigga, yo? Yo, the famous Amos Doc. That's fucked up, yo. What y'all did to famous Amos? <laughs> you are oh. Doc. <laughs> about, did you see that, Bill? You talked about it. Before. I was, I was, I was busy. No, it's you know he's on Shark Tank too. Oh right? shit! Yeah, yeah. I felt so bad. Oh, you didn't see it, Doc time. Goddess. I, I I I've lost that. I lost that fight. Now, that please tell us. Tell me. Lost. It hurts me that you lost know, that battle. I know. I know. No, but didn't even put up a fight. Yeah, that shit. Uh... And because when I said I was the dark god, the way that y'all wrecked for her, whoa, you sure about that? <laughs> we did. Whoa, you sleeping on me? I did. I did. We had a back. Up. We had she a back. Even show she had up a, to she the got fight. Crazy now. Thank you guys. Thank Been you. Been outside okay. missing Doc. Yes, for real. Okay, well, tell us about it. What happened? What do you mean? The same thing that happened to fucking Bob. Uh, what's our man with the painter? Bob, Bob Ross. Ross. Bob Ross and everybody else. The Bob Harvey. <laughs> every great <laughs> McDonald's. Tetris. Yeah. The, the, the same thing that happens in all the docs happened in this one. Famous name is, and then he tried to make another cookie. <laughs> Here, niggas got Mark Cuban said, "Nah, we good." <laughs> you got oh, some more famous Amos. Oh shit! Wait, oh, yeah, that's fucked. They up, took his so. famous. All right, nah, forget it. I ain't doing this, man. That's because it's fucked up. They took his famous Amoses. Hey, you can't use nothing with famous Amos for life. You, your family, nothing. Get the fuck out of our office. Amos. And leave, and leave that cookie right there. Hey, hey, oh, hey give us the bag, nigga. Oh, that yellow bag, right? So he tried to trick the system like, like creators. He's like, all right. Go back to the kitchen, chef some up. Make famous John. It just never Infamous really. Infamous Amos. It never really caught. <laughs> Nigga was just in there making nobody. Mad cookies. <laughs> nobody wanted the new Amos. <laughs> Niggas was getting Amos from the white nigga. Oh man! Bro. And to this day, we still buying them too. I know. Yo, we, we ain't, ain't the shit. Right? Fucked up. We ain't shit. We fucked up. Damn. Famous Amos. Well, what are you doing? But, but, Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> Grandma drinking green juice. That prune juice, nigga. <laughs> Right. I'm just I'm drinking. I gotta go watch that doc. I'm drinking. These niggas be selling their life away, son. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hip hop. Yes. Damn, yeah. my man. Where else I need Keith Lee to go? I need to go in my family house. <laughs> <laughs> I need to just send send him places. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, All right, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else is happening? Hey, out question: here? Did hey. did we get any feedback on that offer that we put out to um, Carly Russell? No, nigga. <laughs> I, I really thought she bite. Honestly, didn't you? Not with Did all those niggas up here. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? What? I thought she would have. Nah. Nah. No. Okay. You're the all only right. brave one that can reset with us. I appreciate that. I got a question for y'all before we move on. Sure. What's up? If you take a chick on a bowling date and she bowled too good, what'd you think? You'd be tight. <laughs> Hot. Hot. She been with mad niggas. She been with mad niggas bowling. Yo, my girl be whipping my ass. I be tight. She's been to mad James Harden parties, right? Yo, I'll be back. <laughs> Them Angela Yee joints she, back yo, in the day. She got some strong ass hands. Yeah. Yeah. Tight. The Angela Yee joints. <laughs> yeah, I'm hot. You be mad. I don't care what it is. Pool yeah. ball. Don't beat me in nothing. Yeah, yeah, ego kick in. You can't really show off and show your uh. You know what I mean? You take a chick. All right, now look. Yeah, better, you, better doll. I clean this up. Do you take it easy on her when she start? No, no, no. I'm just saying in, in general on a date. Yeah, I'll be chilling it's <laughs> until she start trying to win. You try I'm well. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not putting I'm the gas in your life. I'm, I'm putting the gas on. I'm hey, so pop the trunk. Let me get my bowl. Let me get my bowl. Let me get my shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Then she go like, I'm like, ah, what is that, man? You got your old balls? Yes, yes, bitch. <laughs> yes. yes, I do. Mm-hmm. I'm here to destroy you. <laughs> no this, you thought this was a date. Nah. 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 You keep going to the bar. And I'm that dude. Yo, it's your go. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yo, you are definitely. Hey. You holding it up, mama. Come on. I'll Bo- come on, bonus. Double gutter ball. <laughs> come on, double gutter so I can get up there. One mile. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, man. Anyway. No. Nah. The rest of y'all the same way? Yes. All right, cool. I'm up for the kill niggas. at all times. Absolutely. Man, last time I went to bowling alley, let me tell y'all a quick little story when I was profiling some niggas. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> so 
<laughs> just a quick little story about when I was profiling some niggas. Sure. <laughs> Y'all want to live in a world without profiling? No. No, I don't. Even, yeah, hey, man. Even as blacks, right? No. That's a big, big misconception the whites got about us. <laughs> Like we down with some of that <laughs> <laughs> shit. We profile. That's yeah. our that's our shit too. A little bit like that could be common ground for us. A lot of it. If y'all stop wilding, yeah. we could see eye to eye on a couple of these fucking perks. Ster- yes. and it's profile wrong. Stereotypes are needed sometimes. Anyway, I go to the bowling alley on a light little uh, Monday night. I'm just going there to meet one nigga. But as soon as you walk in, the two middle lanes are occupied with a hundred niggas. I hate that. It, it's 40 of them ain't even bowling. They just at the little table <laughs> the dice. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas is Crab walking legs. back and forth to the bar, hot dog. They walking with chicken. Oh, it's man. a light Monday. It's not supposed to be like this. I start profiling. <laughs> Would y'all have profile? There was no mm-hmm. women with them? It was just all dudes? I didn't see a girl in sight. I, it was some of them niggas was sweating, tank tops, six foot three on a Monday. They was going mad hard. So anyway, I get a little closer, stupid ass Nodge. <laughs> Nodge, Eck, all these, a lot of people, a lot of people we know. Like, hey! I felt so bad. I felt so horrible for profiling my friends. <laughs> You hear your man, right? I, no, because I would have. Yeah, you hear your oh, man. Oh, I felt bad, I man. <laughs> I'd be happy to see familiar faces when you profile in large groups. It, 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 of, Hell yeah. Of black men. Yeah. Yeah, we're all yeah, my yeah. man. Yeah, what up, boy? We've no, been. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No, that was That's my man. That's terrible, yo. It was a good Disgusting. night out there. This guy is crazy. Come to find out, they was, they was gambling. That's why it looked like that. Dice. Mm. Dice to bring up. <laughs> Dice bring up. Dice Dice they tops. was gambling, and, no, they and, was gambling, gambling and, and bowling. And bowling. No. On the bowling. They good. Not, not the Dice. They pretty good. On the bowling. Um, you stupid, yo. Keith Lee would have came in there to eat and had a <laughs> <laughs> rough night. <laughs> he would have needed all that MMA He would have done every MMA trick he needed. <laughs> <laughs> I came to this bowling alley for a hot dog and fries. And then, <laughs> but and then, they got, these niggas ran me right the fuck out of here. Back to my car. You see, I don't have any bags. So I'm going to send my mom and my oh, wife in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. One of them was at the car. One of them was at the car. <laughs> yeah. oh, get out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right now. Hey, Keith Lee, you did that shit. Uh, I'm Niggas would have showed up to your house to do a review. <laughs> but they'd have been whispering in their bed. Keep leaves, keep leave window right. Go, go around, go around the left. We got his whole shit surrounded. He don't like our food. We don't like his food. <laughs> oh man, that's my man. Keith. Oh, oh, y'all yeah. gonna make Keith Lee fuck somebody? Somebody gonna yeah. fuck Keith Lee? <laughs> Keith Lee, you better stay <laughs> your ass at home, nigga. Keep on talking about it. Well, this French toast is dry. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> They gonna hang you this up. Chrome Forty Five. <laughs> it's wet. It's all it's silky, silky wet. <laughs> that nigga's an asshole. <laughs> that nigga's an asshole. Hey, 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 oh, you want to die over your croquette opinions? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you gotta pick a side. <laughs> Oh man, yo! I'm Keith Lee. I've just sent my mother back. <laughs> That's why somebody said they want him to go to Houston. No, you don't. Oh yeah, oh, man. Houston, no, you don't. Houston to end that faster than they ended loving hip hop out there. Oh, oh, shit, man. Hey, loving hip hop Houston was gonna be oh, so fire, shit. except for the Houston part. <laughs> they forgot they about that one yeah, part. They, yeah, they tried it. Yeah, they oh, tried it. They man. went down there with some cameras and yo, turn tried. up, throw a drink, drink. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Look, right. they wrapped all that now, shit up. Now quick. You got, oh, you wrapped up the cameras? Oh, they, oh everything. They wrapped the people. They, they wrapped the people up in there. Oh yeah, you throwing a drink. Now nobody leaves. <laughs> Kid is hostage time. Y'all never careful with your content. Yep, Y'all had to be careful. It's, it's tricky. Oh, it's man. tricky. That's why I just want to talk to my friends. <laughs> they still do New York. There's no wiggle room, huh? They still do New York. Loving him? No, I don't think so. Damn, yeah, I ain't seen him in a while. I don't think so. Damn, you fucked Everybody up. Everybody moved to Atlanta and they moved the whole cast down there. Fucked up. Thank God they didn't bring New York back. They'd have probably had my baby mama on there with some nigga. <laughs> <laughs> In front of my face. That's the, that's the tricky part about loving hip hop. 
Love start hip, finding out love shit. Love and hip-hop and say, all right, you want to be in this storyline or nah? <laughs> nah. All, all right. <laughs> cool. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. You know who want to always be in that storyline? The girl that was affiliated with you. She's going to get the storyline. Oh, oh, I wish I could tell y'all about some good storylines that just that they tried to get popping. And then the one time, and I'm going to say this and move on because we got shit to do, we got sleepers, we got shit going on. Then the pandemic go on, right? And I had one scene with this one ex. And I had all of this pent up frustration from years of shit. And I finally got that shit out in the scene, right up the street at the Cuban spot. I, I, this was like fate for me. Like, this was like, like a full me. circle. I bl- I got it. I got it all out. And they ain't air They ain't got one new word. Cut all that shit out. I remember you told me. I remember you told me. And they ain't air it. No, but what? no, they didn't. Not only did they not air it, but they didn't, they didn't tell me. So every week, I'm watching. Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, shit oh, 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 oh. oh, I know my shit is coming. coming. I let this you got snacks and shit? Hat. You ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> that shit never came on. And then the pandemic, that shit said, we're going to break. Like, and it never came back. I called Mona and Steph and every, yo, that scene, <laughs> where's the scene? Leak it. <laughs> Give it to me. Send me Give it to me. <laughs> Give it to me. Leak it, yo. How much you uh, want for the scene? No, man. Oh. It, ruined, it ruined my fucking joy, man. Oh, man. God oh, damn man, it. That's funny. See? That's funny shit. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> she tossed the shit out of that apple. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this nigga joking now. <laughs> Yo, let it go, man. <laughs> Never that. Never. Never. That's some of the greatest. Flip, that shit was uh, hilarious. <laughs> it was a the big green apple too. <laughs> that shit was the that shit was like a fucking from Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> that shit was from Satchel Page. That shit had that apple had hormones. <laughs> oh man. Oh, shit. This nigga's a and connected. It. Solid. That'd be the worst. Solid. What nigga? <laughs> in front of something. He did that shit in front of day 26. <laughs> All right. Cut. <laughs> All right. We are back. My man Ish had to go do some entrepreneur shit, some house builder shit. Caesar called him, man. Caesar was selling, uh, liquidating some of his homes. <laughs> Ish had to make a run. Ish is my man. Only he can come over an hour late and leave over an hour early. <laughs> Ish, you do it. Ish, salute, bro. <laughs> salute. Ish spent half his time here on the phone outside. That's kind of ill. Ruined the rhythm and the chemistry and shit. But hey, man, salute. Ish hive. <laughs> <laughs> what they call themselves? The, the issues? Yo, oh. wait, That's wait, what they wait, really call themselves? Wait, wait, what? Issues? Issues? Wait, what? Issues. We had a couple different names. Wait, wait what? You better tell me Israelites. That's Israelites is another Israelites. one. Yeah. Issues. Issues. You better be lying. I, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I kinda like the issues. The, the issues, issues is fire. Is I didn't hear that. The issues might be kind of fire. That's, that's corny and fire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's old and it's corny if he acknowledge it. Yo, yeah, the issues. It. Yo, the issues. You think he's ever gonna acknowledge that? He's not gonna acknowledge that. And, and I like that name because if you're a fan of Ish, then you got <laughs> you got issues. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. Stop hating. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Antoine Marby, who is better. If we than say his Ish, whole name, he act like, like he got to fight us. Facts. Yo, bleep that out. Bleep Ish that out. Is also an entrepreneur and real mm, estate mm. investor for mm. over two decades. That nigga did LinkedIn and did, couldn't do a full pod. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Don't worry about it. Hey, big dog. Don't worry about it. He's going to get a text, actually. He's going to get a text from me. A green one in that Android. <laughs> <laughs> I was bad as hell he got his Android back, man. Don't text me no more, son. All right. We have, we do have a part of the show All from right. a brother named Terrence Jr. Will. Terrence J. Terrence right. Jr. <laughs> Will. Terrence Jr. Hopefully we can help this brother out. He says, homie court. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Years ago, working in the office, anytime a new girl started, me and my friend both tried to bag. Oh, that's how me and Ish met. <laughs> that's me and Ish bag. What the fuck you talking about? Vicky comes, we both shoot. I win, we break up, she quits. Mm. Now Shayla comes, we both shoot. He wins, mm. they get married and have kids, etc. 
Maybe 12 years past, I see Shayla at a gas station. Those gas stations, boy. I never know, know this one's going. Never know who you see needing gas. At least it was in the Whole Foods. Mm. <laughs> I, of course, ask, how's the family? Haven't seen them in years. Nigga. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. She said they're getting a divorce because she, he had another baby on the way. Ooh. She says the girl's name, which is Vicky, my <gasps> work ex. Oh, and I said, Vicky from our old office? <coughs> and she looked confused. I forgot these two was never working at the office at the same time. I'm not sure what lie he told her on how they met. There must have been some But overlap. to her, I just connected all the dots and unanswered questions. Oh, this nigga. Man. I knew I fucked up. We need the old love and hip hop drop. But does he? We do. We need to bring it back. <laughs> I knew I fucked up. But does he have a valid reason to be upset with me? I was blind and didn't know how to carry it. He's thinking I exposed him because I wanted his ex-wife still. Well, it's funny, Terrence. That's the exact same thing that I think. I think the same I think thing. We nigga. all think the same thing. You definitely really? Yes. 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 You don't think that that was like a complete and total accident? No. no. <laughs> men don't make that. Accident. This is all men in here. No. And, men, and for no. sure, he wants to he hit knew what homie's he was wife doing. now. He knew what he was doing. He wants to hit homie's wife now, for sure. And yeah, because she looking good. You ain't tell us how she looking this. Yeah, That's true. Yeah. It sounds like she's still looking good because mm -hmm. you ain't hit her with a quick high and bye. Yeah. You was like, how's the family? How's the kids? What happened with everything? You was trying to get caught up. How, I, what I don't understand is how you get from we're getting a divorce. Okay. Because he had a baby on me. Like you asking a bunch of questions now mm -hmm. because for her, for how did you get to the name of the girl that he's having a baby with? I'm not even asking. I feel how like she doing? didn't. But did, wait, but wait. Even if she volunteers the name, it's on you to just receive that information. Mm -hmm. You ain't have to say nothing. You else. don't have to say, wait, Vicky, we used to work with that we both fucked that really liked. Like, you don't have to do none of that. Hey, yeah. The second you do that, you look nuts. Mm -hmm. Especially when y'all used to play the game of both, we both bagging. Yeah. So now, even if it's 12 years later, it still looks like that game is on for you. And for that game to be on with my family now, because now, yeah. now it's not my little work thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is my child's no, it's mom. Up. It's up for you. Yeah. And you bumping into her in a gas station, helping her in a divorce. It's very much a girl thing to ask more questions. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Terrence got to get punched in the face. Yes. You was a hater. Yeah. You a hater. Oh, yeah. Well, I think once he heard Vicky, and again, that was his ex. Oh, now y'all getting divorced. Oh, now here's my time to... Let me throw some salt in there. No, so I can yeah. shoot a shot. No, why? Because Vicky's a man, normal was. name. Why you didn't to, have you, to connect that Vicky to work Vicky. You did that on purpose. Because but you was, wait, was hating on Which Vicky? How she wait, look? Hold, you know but hold on one second. Yeah. But he ended up being right, though. So, that don't matter. That don't that's matter. That's not the point. What does that, that matter? to do with this? So it wasn't exactly. Vicky's, that wasn't random. It wasn't random. He asked which Vicky. Light-skinned Vicky with the Mel, what are you saying, Mel? Huh? What are you saying? I I feel like I'm still erring on the side of that. This was like a, he was. It wasn't. It wasn't planned. It was an accident. Listen to the men. I I know. I know. You she guys. Don't. You guys must. You she guys don't, by know the better. Way. Oh, I will defer to you guys. Probably know better, and that's just maybe my fe female brain. I think he had ill intentions for, even from the jump of him asking, "How saw. are you and homeboy? Why are you even still getting gas at her gas station? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you even over there in the same hood?" Yeah, that's all I sound like. Terrence, you my man. And I don't want you to get punched in the face while you were paying Patreon member. But, <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, yeah. But I'm sorry, Terrence. That was that was foul. <laughs> gotta be careful with those splash brother combinations, man. It gets tricky. It gets tricky. You, you gotta not that's why I wish Ace was still mm. here, man. So we it, talk, it does get man. tricky. If you and your man are fucking wing wingmen and tag team partners, shit can get she can get weird. Yeah, we got to see who's ready to ride for her the most. I'm willing to stop speaking to you for a few years over her. <laughs> that, that's wingman? That's not wingman. That's not wingman. Well, that's not wingman. That's, that's, that's like we we want to compete. Like yes, yeah, it's, it's the Magic Johnson, Larry Bird type shit. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like we can, yeah, but what happens in the event? No, that, but it's not though because they were asked. They were like calling dibs and like yeah. it's friendly. It's yeah, man, friendly. Men ego. Nah, he said men I won, egos, we, we both shot though. Men egos are fragile. When I find out that you got her before me, I feel like a little slight. And then at any moment I can get her or get back at you by getting her, but it's like even up the score. But you still feel slighted if they got married and had kids? Like it stopped being a game, you know? Not until if you went back you and back on Until he went and found out, oh, and you went and got my old joint and mm -hmm. got a baby with her too? 
Nah, man. Nah, he's a, we, we play he, dirty he, games. He, yep, he nope, playing a dirty nope, game, nope, bro. Nope, That's right, it. I'm right, telling right, you. Right, you're right, right. Terrence, you're right. you foul. Yeah, you really right. foul for that, dog. You got to be on your shit, man. I don't want you to be one of the people to fall for tricks like that. No, no, I'm converted. Okay. I, I'm converted. I, <laughs> How you yes, doing, Mel? Yeah, What's up with I, Thomas? I, 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 oh, well, we're not together no more. <laughs> How are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go out to eat later? I wanted to ask sure. where, where Thomas was from. You know what? From. That actually Is Thomas just from Atlanta? happened to me I, I know it did. last oh, week. Is Thomas from Atlanta? No. Um, no. That was the end. <laughs> if I said where Thomas was from, it would be very much a dead giveaway. No, that's not true. Where is he from? Jersey? No. Congrats to the 49ers, I <laughs> guess. Bruh. No. I want to hate. Chase Young is there. That's sick. For that's a third. Go Buckeyes for a third. For a third. I mean, he's been injured a lot. He hasn't really kind of fully lived up to the potential of his draft a status. Third. Same thing they said about Kadarius Tony when they he said, went to the Chiefs. Oh, yeah. he's been injured. He got over there and was healthy as could be. <laughs> Touchdowns galore. That's true. That's true. Chase know. Young is a must. I think Chase Young didn't want to be in, in Washington. They wasn't, it wasn't working out over there at all. I don't know what the issue was. I know they have a lot of talent on that D-line, so maybe they felt like they could move on. It's weird, though. Pause. Absolutely. My bad. You got a lot of talent on that D-line? <laughs> that sounds crazy. On that, little, I was, on, on that dick line? <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Right, you got it. You just had to see. Uh, you got to get arrested. Go to jail. It's over, man. It's over. So, congrats to the 49ers. The rich Sheesh. get richer. I don't think Saquon Barkley was traded. That's the end of my uh, sports report. I didn't oh, see any my, other major And trades. my fantasy football quarterback, Kirk Cousins, is out for the season. Yeah. In, the, in, your, in your big league? Yeah. Ooh. You got yeah. Who's your backup? He was my backup, but uh -uh. he was balling. Trevor Lawrence, my starter. That's not a bad one. Uh, mm. My quarterback cost me my matchup this week, man. Pat Mahomes. Travis Kelly. Uh, five points. Jeez. That's why I won my matchup. The guy I was uh, facing had Pat Mahomes and uh, Kelsey. I think you get more points when you do that. Yeah. Because there's a few niggas in you the league. You double up. One I, nigga to, got, I did that in our league before. I had Lamar Jackson yeah. and Mark Andrews. One nigga got Burrow, Chase. Oh, like, yeah. They trying to. Yeah, you get the double Because, yeah, you get the t points for both guys. You get both. That's scary to me because if that one game is bad, like my opponent found out. For sure. You lose. Yeah. Thank God. I was definitely supposed to lose that game. Six and two. Fantasy. Pay, 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 pay. <laughs> I think you should um, make that trade. You think, you think you thought more about it? I'm going to go think about it now. I'm going to get on the phone with my GM and, sure, and figure sure. it out. <laughs> sure. St. Brown for, Kam for Kamara. I don't know. No. I like that. Because he's got a lot of wide receivers, though. No, they ain't St. They ain't Brown. A couple of them is. You had a couple studs on that starting line. St. Brown be producing for me with a broke toe That's and nice. everything. I just looked at Kamara's last couple weeks, though. He's been going absolutely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely insane. And you don't got running backs like that, so. I know. Trade deadline is in one week. Again, shout out to the fantasy football owners out there, man. It's a stressful time, but that's why we love this thing. Uh, if you're listening, happy belated Halloween to everybody out there. It's also the first of the month. Pay them bills. Get them paid. Hey. Let's get them bills paid. Don't get kicked out. Car notes. Yo, they can find your car even if you try to hide it. The repo man will come get your shit. Hey. Yo, y'all keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, we bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel. And the closed-minded women want you to teach them things. Grab that Ozempic syringe out of her hand. She does not need it. <laughs> she does not need it. Uh, we going, man. We going to enjoy the rest of this Halloween, right? We going to enjoy the night. Might be outside, strip club. Might be door-to-door uh -huh. -door picking candy up. Might be a catch. We might be picking candy up or picking up something sweet. You heard? Fuck they talking about. Or picking, or picking candy up. <laughs> hold it down out there. Hold it down. We'll be back same time, same place this weekend. Shout out to our brother Ish. We love you. Oh, Lord. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, it's got to be how Dipset felt. <laughs> <laughs> what? I would have kicked Jada Kiss off the stage rapping that shit. Get out of here, nigga. <laughs> Joe Biden.